Okay. Right. Okay. Button mod. We got everything set up here. Oh, I had an idea. Right. Damn. <laughs> yeah, something pretty good. I need to write <clears throat> a good idea. I need to write down for a YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You guys are having a fantastic day. And as you might be able to hear in the background, we have Yu Gi Oh! Boots of the Roses. The first. You may be also, also able to hear something else in the background. Size this real quick.
five hours. We have a
make make sure we have audio. Let me check out my stream on my <laughs> them normally Yeah, we'll head back and check that this time. Uh, also, hey, you never know, it could be a little 
I know Pokemon or do I? so I can read the Pokedex entry. So I will make a save stamp. And I will save stamp. I've been known to escape with yeah, we're not probably not gonna raise this one. But it has the download ability, so I'll just call it um uh so I'll call it SpongeBob because it's someone else. So uh, uh, Alright, SpongeBob. Ah, SpongeBob. Got to keep it down. Not bad stats, you know. Twenty 
Pokemon to close out, and then we'll start it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, and let me make sure I have Discord mute. Uh, let's see what all is. Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yo. 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 So I was doing in ancient England on a chessboard. Now I have a horde. Of zombies heading for me, mystical elf on the shelf. Move forward, summon in defense mode. Yeah, summon in defense mode. So, I set this wing trumpeteer right now, and I end my turn. Yo, gonna blow the horn. It's time for the call of duty. Get the end up with the ratatouille. That's right, Call of Duty. We move forward and we summon again. It's Fiery Aru. It's Fiery Aru. Actually, it's Sparrow. Jack. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. It's actually Vermilion. Aw, oh, like Genocillion. What? It didn't rhyme. It's like Harshad. Gonna get. Make you take a bath. 
Cleanse the soul. Oh my roll. Let's see it in the UVO. Oh boy. Alright, Cabin Jack. Attack. I like uh, Vermilion Sparrow's attack in this game. It looks awesome, man. <laughs> You guys will see. This guy like charges up like it's a Kamehameha. And I like to call it Omega Flame Bullet. Oh, man. Hey, that's Vegeta's attack. <laughs> you know, because you know, Vegeta always shoots like random shots that shoot everywhere and then kind of come in. <laughs> That's Vegeta's patented attack. How did Vermilion Sparrow learn? <laughs> Alright. Oh my god! Yamcha's been Yamcha! Oh my god! Who's Yamcha? I like monkeys. Alright. Speaking of that, let me not forget what I was doing. And make sure we uh, plug this in. This is the, yeah, the uh, charger to the laptop. So let me do that. And for that, I usually just run this under the table that you guys are sitting on. And then you guys should hear a slight beep here in a second. So right about now. Interesting battle here, Lord of the Lamp versus. <laughs> it's so funny, I got that Team Four Star quoted to start the stream. Now. Like, oh my god, he's using Vegeta's attack. <laughs> it's so funny. That's exactly what a lot of attacks look like in this game, too. They'll just be, do, do the random, you know, Vegeta attack where they spread a bunch of energy balls and have them collide. It's, it's, it's incredibly funny. <laughs> oh, man. All right. But I think I get everything set up, chat. Oh, wait. There's one more thing I need to do. Hang on. All right. Transformation complete. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the Seto Kaiba hoodie on. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I think that's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Let's use Vegeta's technique once again. <laughs> All right. Now, the kill you, Mela. You shall now face the wrath. I'm Super Saiyan Fire Vegeta. Go. Now, the only thing you'll be feeling is oblivion. Oh my god, he's using Vegeta's attack! Oh my god, Yamcha's been Yamcha! <laughs> it looks like your mirror has been shattered. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh man, I've never seen this thing taunt. That, that's incredibly. <laughs> Now go, Kai Mara, the flying mythical beast. Ah, I remember when I used this card in Battle City. <laughs> Now go, Chimera. Use your Chimera Impact to Dash. Oi. Not bad. Yeah, Chimera actually looks really cool in this game. So, uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, and we'll watch uh, Vermilion Sparrow use Vegeta's technique. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water too. Million gets spellbound too. No, okay. That would have been the other way around. I guess we'll do Parshat uh, right here. And I'm not moving him on the dark squares for a reason, chat. So um, we can't summon, so not bad, not bad at all. I guess, uh, yeah, this would kind of help us if I moved here and then I did this and I put the metal here. Yeah, that should help us quite a bit. So let's get some meadow going. So there we go. All right. Okay. Let's see what uh, is going on here. Um, and head is straight for this. So um, let's summon Empress Judge first. Nice. There's Mystical Elf. So let's summon. Let's move this in. Oh man, Dark Prisoner. <laughs> well, the good part is this card. Yeah, you you don't take damage. It has the Karibo effect, so that's good. Uh, we can skip this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, Simon Garuzis in the fits mode. Hey, <laughs> what's Garuzis mean? Does it mean I have ruse or do I have ribs? Hey, <laughs> I like monkeys. to charge this last night let me put that on i can actually jump jump over there between turns and plug in the charger actually what am i talking about <laughs> i just took out the cell phone charger last night so i can plug this in right here yeah that makes a lot more sense all right and now the charger yeah it's just a standard xbox 360 charger so yeah both of these will light up Everything is getting ready to charge for uh, probably Naruto tomorrow. So.
Pretty sure this will spell by encourage the cowardly dog. But yeah, this that thing might actually rank up. It's killed quite a few monsters. Probably like the most it's ever destroyed, so. like uh, we finally got Tristan turn locked, so we will go for S-Tech against uh, Tristan now, so, alright, so there we go, uh, we type this in chat, just so you guys know what's going on, there we go, yeah, S-Tech against Tim Tristan Timothy, I like monkeys, Taylor time, so there we go. And that's good because everything will get a lot more experience. Uh, let's maximize my chat in uh, Chrome here and do myself a favor. Nice, okay, there. So, alright, so there we go. While we're uh, S teching, I'm gonna do like a few stretches, so just don't mind me. Do some ceiling stretches because I did just kind of wake up. So. Grab some ceiling. Oh, good. That was pretty good. Show you guys here. I'm, for the ceiling stretch, I'm basically stretching all the way up here. Yeah. Oh, man. That's right, chat. You've been at your desk all day. You've been playing children's card games too long. You just need to stretch a little bit. Yeah. That's right, chat. Do the spirit bomb pose. It's actually a really good stretch, you know. If you feel, uh, pretend that you're holding a carp that's this big, you know. Yeah, like. Oh, man. That actually does feel pretty good on my back, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do the spirit bomb stretch, chat. <laughs> oh, man. All right. This one back that's good. That's good. Wait. Yeah. Alright. 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 I call I call this stretch the stiff arm the wall stretch. Let's see. 
Oh man. Yeah, I felt good. I legit yawned there. <laughs> that felt pretty good. Us. Let's do the healthy back stretch. All you want to do is just kind of drop, drop to the floor and let your back just kind of stretch out. So it'll be like this kind of. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Remember to breathe. So breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Just doing some uh, ankle stretches now, you know. You guys know how to do those. You tilt your angle, your ankle at like a 45 degree angle. Yeah, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. Grab some water. Let's grab some water. I'm going to do some slight knee stretches. Remember to breathe. It's important, chat. It's important. it's important to breathe while you're stretching and playing children's trading card games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel a lot better. I feel a little, I feel a little loose. I feel a little. Yeah. Feels good. Feels good. All right. I definitely feel more awake now than I did five minutes ago, for sure. Yeah, stretches have a way of like waking your body up. Feels good. Feels good.
All right, we're almost there, chat. Say it with me. Say it with me. Say it with me. That's right. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but that probably really is going to look really funny on the VOD. Hey, uh, Tim, you might want to clip that one. <laughs> This music, man, it just gets me going. Get down. Yeah. Get down. And one. We've reached turn count one. And guys, say it with me. Happy New Year. Wish me luck on the three in a row, chat. And yeah. Empress Judge promotion, Hourglass promotion. I knew I knew it'd get it because you know, it's the most monsters that thing's ever destroyed. Uh, Vermilion promotion, nice. Yeah, Pyros are actually extremely good deck leaders. You guys will see. Not bad ones. Uh, Lord of the Lamp, the middle card there, could be used for some lamp fusions. Pretty interesting stuff. I really want to work Pell Beast in here, but I want to be able to fight Taya with this deck as well. I guess I can take out one solo to cure if I really want to. Um, and right. Yeah, and Pell Beast is better than some of the beasts we have here, so we only have three beasts, so let's add Pell Beast. Um, also, there's Vermilion Sparrow, leader ability, and not yet, not yet, trust me though. Um. 
I think we'll take out Petite Angel for Pale Beast, yeah. Yeah, that's and... Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. And we'll go with the Dark Witch deck, the uh, default. And we'll do uh, a couple times here. I'm sorry. Anzu Masaki. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, fly on over to Quinzor. Alright, see what I did there? Fly, win. Agua time chat. Remember, Aqua Dragon likes Aqua. Trapasso Infinite Tornado. My very soul, lightning, death strike. That's why leader abilities are so good. Look at this. We can actually destroy this now. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, let's do that. And then I will, uh, yeah. Let's destroy Dark Witch with Mario Star Boy. Let's watch. It's the new game of uh, Super Mario RPG. Super Mario RPG 4.
Oh, you just know Super Mario RPG sued them so hard over using those stars, though. You already know, Chet. You already know. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo don't play when it comes to Mario. <laughs> I know we lost the battle, but the fact that we forced the uh, Gyakuten Omega Meet, the flip effect, is kind of good for us, honestly. So. Now it's time for our crowning achievement. Good part is her life LP is too low to use this effect, so that's good. Also, we've only got like two of this card, so I'd like to win it in the slots. Oh man. How cool would it be to fly, chat? I mean, man, we've used Dark Witch so much. Man, the ability of flight would be so cool. So cool. <laughs>
Nice combo, we got to show that turn with darkness approaches. Heck yeah. Alright, let's try for that hourglass. I guess we'll get Soul of the Pure. I don't know. Really good cards. Let's add Courage to the C deck. All right, we also have a reincarnation. I guess let's just try Soul of the Pure. It is right around 30, so let's try it. Uh, yes, another Darkness Approaches. We're saving this one. We're saving this one. Bro. All right, not bad. Ghoul with an appetite. Two Darkness Approaches? Winning, let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hype, man. Hype. You need a hype command for that one. Wow. Wow. That's like the perfect reincarnation. Perfect. I, I can't believe that just happened. Oh my goodness. How lucky can I get, bro? <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Um. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. There we go. And then, um. Yeah, we do have a plenty in this deck, so approaches in here. We could um I guess um uh... You know, I've shown off the key mace fusion, key mace one with two to form gatekeeper. So let's take out two out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. 
All right, man. Wow, Chad. What what a pull. Like that's like that's probably one of the best reincarnations I've ever gotten in my life. Well, that's not true, but that was really good. Really good. I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now. But I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna yell. I'm just gonna calm down and save the game. Save the game. Oh man. If we had gotten a power surge there, which there have been storms all night, chat. I would have cried. I would have cried on camera. On camera. Yeah, you guys would have seen. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I definitely need a break after that. But let's leave you guys with Tristan Timothy Taylor. And uh, I'll be right back. Woo. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Yes, yes, yes. Can I feel it? Huh? I have exercise a team in it. Tartness approaches times three, baby. Woo! Thank you. 
Fusion time. Hey. <laughs> you lodge in my mystical genius. Go fulfill my wish. And my wish is to wipe out Tristan's life points. <laughs> Say goodbye to those life points, Tristan. Oh no, my blocker. What's a blocker? Me. I like monkeys. I don't know why I keep saying that. I like monkeys. <laughs> what the hell, man? But if I lose the blocker, I lose my card. No. Twinkle. Oh yeah, my gin don't skip leg day, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them guns. Look at them guns. <laughs> uh, I'm having fun, Chad. I'm having a lot of fun. Go, ring of destruction. <laughs> Say goodbye to your monster. Another beast type, and quite frankly, you know, our B deck, our B deck uses quite a lot of beast uh, types for uh, Necro Gale fusion, so this is honestly good. All right, guys. Ha, me, ha, me, ha. <laughs> it probably looks really dumb on the VOD. <laughs> Who cares? I'm having fun, Chet. I'm having fun. <laughs> Do hasto, mami no hibos. Ah. 
Alright, Tristan. Now you shall fast face the wrath of the almighty Shadow Spectre. Let's watch it attack now. Oh man, this thing has the funniest death animation in uh, <laughs> Forbidden Memories. It's actually really funny. Oh, nice smoke screen attack. I guess your accuracy got lowered, Sorcerer of the Doom. <laughs> Speaking of zombies, yeah, Halloween will be here before you know it, chap. You guys going to zombies or uh, like a favorite movie villain? <laughs> I see what I did there. I attacked you directly. <laughs> I love this thing's, you know, victory cry. It sounds good. It sounds really good for PS2. The just the audio quality. All right, guys. Now let's see the uh, Hameha Meha Meha in stereo. That's why. Yeah, done. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chad, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Pumpkin rise from the grave.
Another S Tech duel. So, yeah, you guys know the deal with S Tech duels. Just be sure to stretch and just kind of you know, feel free to move around. To the uh, back stretch. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Ah, I'm gonna do some like neck rolls too. Neck roll stretches. Those are good. Yeah, so. uh, oh, yeah, right there. Oh, wow. I think during this one, I'll just kind of sit down, comb my hair, and we'll be good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hope your morning's going good. Um, yeah, we basically have uh, Tristan in the, uh, to where the AI will just skip his turn back and forth. So usually during those times, especially if it's pretty here early here in the morning, I will just kind of move around and stretch. And uh, yeah, so hope your morning's going good though, I guess. Uh, good, good to see you as always. Um, do you have any plans to stream today, Aga, or are uh, you pretty busy with uh, some stuff? Count up to Exodia. Explodia? It's not possible. No one's ever been able to summon him. <laughs> No, but uh, <laughs> I get I guess like an explanation of this game could help like new viewers or people who watch the VOD. So 
Long story short, let me show my deck leader here. Um, yeah, you see how he's Lieutenant Colonel? That's like a five-star Dragon Ball. Basically, I'm playing a uh, ranking challenge, so we're not allowed to duel anyone unless we're at the same rank or higher. So, yeah. Right now, Pumpkin's a one-star Dragon Ball. Thankfully, our deck leader, Mystical Elf, is a five-star. Um, but basically, the way they get, you know, Dragon Ball upgrades is that basically for every turn you skip, you know, and a card space up, it, it gets like one experience points. You know, these games have been data mined. Probably doesn't get one exactly, but, you know, I'm kind of giving a general. Yeah, just pretend there's an invisible experience bar like in Pokemon and that, yeah, you basically the more your monster like kills stuff in battle, attacks the leader, etc., you know, stays face up without dying, it gets experience. So, yeah, basically these like these turn skip duels um, help us to not only have new deck leaders, but it also helps Mystical Elf. Your deck leader also gets experience for the turn counts, so that's good. Um, in order to fight the next opponent, uh, Kujakumai, we need to um, yeah get from a five star Dragon Ball to a six star, which is a uh, Colonel. So that's like the best way I can explain it. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering why I'm just sitting here passing, like, isn't this a waste of time? No, this is exactly what we want. We want the AI to, like, surrender and not do anything because, uh, yeah, this is the best time to rank up, actually. So, that's what's going on, so. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just for you, like, especially if you're new to my channel, and you may be wondering, like, what's going on? Why don't I just, you know, win? That's why, because in the ranking challenge, it's more about experience points than it is about winning. So, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm actually glad that you mentioned the turn count because, you know, not everybody, <laughs> most people, they basically play this game as fast as possible. And, you know, I don't blame them. I, you know, that's, you know, um, <laughs> but the way to beat the breaking challenge is to just maximize your time. So, yeah, yeah, you know, honestly, you know, I'm kind of glad I thought of that. So, <laughs> I usually say it at least like once a stream. But, like, a lot of people <laughs> will ask, like, especially on my Facebook, they'll just be like, well, why haven't you beaten the game yet? It's like, well, you can't upgrade from, like, a one-star Dragon Ball to a 13-star overnight. It's it's impossible, you know, so. <laughs> so. Uh, rip this person I'm following isn't showing up in my follow. Yeah, it's weird. Twitch does do that sometimes. Um, it's really weird, I guess. I don't know why, but, um, also YouTube, I find, does, like, randomly unsubscribe people at random times. Kind of weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah. And, you know. Eh, you know. <laughs>
Uh, but yeah, today I've got a doctor appointment for, um, yeah, basically I just go to, like, I'm not even going to kid around with you, Chet. I've got bipolar disorder and like, like a, a lot of you have already known that for a long, long time because you uh, subscribed to me from Facebook or whatever. So, but yeah, I literally just go and um, this one's like to check my, uh, like the levels of the medicine in my blood. So they basically just want to make sure everything's working and that, you know, everything's balanced out. So I don't even have to talk to a therapist. Uh, you know, thank God for that. Uh, Cause I, that's, that's the part I hate the most, but um, yeah, it's literally just to check like my blood levels and like my blood pressure. And that's, you know, <laughs> so not too much to worry about on this one. Um, we've almost reached the magic number chat. All right. Say it with me. Say it with me. I know you're thinking it. Number 14. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. And now it's time for the, uh, you know, the ball on um, New York Times Square to drop. So here we go. Here we go. 10. It's almost Happy New Year, chat. Nine. Is Chinese New Year coming up? I don't know. It's always at a weird time. So nine. All right. Let's say it. Say it out loud. Eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Six. Five. Yeah, buddy. What's funny is me shouting out the numbers, you know, proves how much lag I have. <laughs> Four. <laughs> or uh, this guy. Uh, three. <laughs> and two. All right. Say it with me, you VOD watchers. Say it with me. And one. Hey, happy new year. Happy new year. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see some fireworks now. <laughs> All right. Gemini Elf promotion. That's good. So now she's a two star Dragon Ball. And Pumpkin. Good, good. I definitely want Pumpkin up to uh, six stars. So that's pretty good. All right. Okay. So we can get a potentially get a three in a row on the top up here. So let's try it here. Um, oh, miss it by one. But you know, Blocker is a good card. And it has the uh, Karibo effect. So honestly, we'll take it. It's a solid machine. So uh, almost, almost. I almost had it there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm kind of glad Iga mentioned that. Like, uh, the person she's looking for isn't in the follow page. Yeah, like, uh, some people have randomly said to me at times, like, hey, you know, I thought I was subscribed to you on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, good news. You are slash were. Uh, YouTube's just really weird. And we'll sometimes unsubscribe you when they don't need to. So, speaking of YouTube, <laughs> yeah, you follow, watch this vibe. Uh, yeah. Um,. Right now on YouTube, I'm doing some good stuff. So uh, we have some good playlists available. So we have, um, yeah, we have Yu-Gi-Oh, 
We got Dawn of Destiny. As well as like um Pokemon trading card game. Uh yeah. As well as like uh we have several completed LPs over there, including Super Mario World. But yeah, if you want to uh you know if you like obviously you know the stream, maybe you'll like some more of my content. So yeah, head over there to that link and uh yeah, you will be able to see like all the stuff we're working on and uh yeah, yeah. We also recently posted some uh some uh yeah, some of this. So some five Ds, decades, duels, plus uh yeah, so there you go. If you know YouTube's more your thing, yeah, head over there to that link and uh yeah, feel free to like, you know, like a few videos and you know, just or just you know, just watch, honestly, because uh watching does help out the channel overall. So you know, I don't tend to pressure people to subscribe. If you want to do that, that's cool, but you know, honestly, yeah, just uh, obviously if you're here watching the VOD at this exact timestamp, you like the Yu-Gi-Oh! content, so yeah, feel free to head over to my YouTube and uh, just give a few videos a watch. You know, we're also doing Nightmare Troubadours, so that's pretty good. So. All right. <laughs> Shameless plug over. Back to the duels. Ah, uh, yo, yo. Yo, so I was in England. Now my plane's real grand. Yo, can I summon the cell? She's right on the cusp of the greatness. Greatest duelist in the world. So of the pure, I got the cure. Yo, give me that 2K life. Give me that, give me that, give me that life. Yo, what's a life without a wife? Well, <laughs> might be a happy one. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm the king of my own castle. Now you just got crowned pumpkin. Take it to the wing. Hey. Drawing some zombie combos, this little chat. That's pretty awesome. Because a lot of these combos I haven't had the chance to show off, so it's pretty cool. Alright, guys, and you guys will see how pumpkin you can do those stuff. Ectoplasmic fortification! So, yeah, it has the anime effect where it increases by 100 to second straight. That's awesome. Um, ooh, okay, chat. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Check this out. Alright. Hey, watch it come on, you go. So stay. Oh, now we're really pump, 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 pumping it up. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Next level stretch right here, bro. Two pumpkins. Yes. All right, and while the weaker one's pump, pump, pumping himself up, we'll attack with the other one. Oh, Patrician of Darkness. Oh, you know, <laughs> I guess I should have been paying. Powering up uh, Tristan's monster. Hey, thanks for the extra power, bud. <laughs> I like monsters. 
that's my whoopsie chat. But I guess you'll get to see one of the cooler zombie monsters attack. I like to call... <laughs> uh, Trish... Of Darkness. Go, Grizzly Wing, you digi descendants to the chats. <laughs> Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon. All right. I definitely should have noticed that uh, Pumpkin was pom pom popping up his monster, though. That's my book. As whoops. <laughs> Nice, nice. Okay. Let's uh let's get this going. Jin on the offensive here, and we'll have Pumpkin a uh, retreat in the pen. So yeah, now that we've got tiers activate, you know, tier elements, we can take down uh, Pumpkin by using the Ashizu card. So shuffle back into. Deadly zombie breath. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty cool to see uh, Tristan play Patrician, though, because he almost always, almost never plays that card. That's why I just kind of attacked and did the questioning. <laughs> Nice, nice. <laughs> Didn't even need Dark Magician, we just straight up win. <laughs> Deal, deadly zombie break. Go, ectoplasmic fortification. I oh, mean, I love that line. Like, all the turns they skipped in Dola's Kingdom, and every time Bones is just like, ectoplasmic fortification. You know, <laughs> such an epic line. Like, ectoplasmic fortification it sounds like really badass, bro. Like, yeah. My god, 
Is that your battle cry, pumpkin? <laughs> More like pump queen, right? <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, guys. All done. So we're good. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a three in a row, chat. Well, actually, never mind the three in a row. We want Patrician in this deck, so let's try for Patrician of Darkness. Yes, got it, got it. All right. Leo Gun ain't bad. It's it's a right. Leo Gun's a right. right. All right, chat, and I'll have the uh, interlude music play here. But uh, yeah, we're going to switch back to a little Pokemon Platinum because it should be early morning. So let's go. Okay, yeah, there's the there's the duck. <laughs> I just remembered too, I need to check something up for YouTube, so let me do that real quick. Yeah. There you go. Oh, the light, yeah.
That, that's good enough. That's good enough. Got Pokemon Platinum booting up here. So, there you go. And let's put it kind of in the middle. That way I can see the chat. Alright, oops. It's actually, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to put it here. And.
guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But, um, but no, I had nothing. I was planning on doing it on YouTube. Um, so, we got a little 250 subscriber special. I assume you know that. So, if you want more updates on that, I just subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, Seven. Mm -hmm. 
You know, Twitch Studio. Every, you know, two or three minutes. You get the chat. Go early in the morning. So. But yeah, that's the best way. Sometimes screen sharing. Check that Twitch Studio. Just a little reminder to myself. You could also check the Google Chrome. But yeah, yeah Twitch Studio is just faster. Um, yeah, there's a plugin. Okay, so. Good ability it has. Relax. Magnet pool. So this one's got magnet pool.
I forgot my rock sweater, but I just didn't want to go back to the line and throw it around. So I'm definitely not trying to throw it around. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that you know in the orange islands or whatever it was he got like a lot of time to shine you know when it you know ash just kind of threw it in he had basically just caught it as a crappy and just kind of yeah but that thing was clearly level 35 or whatever you know level 20 before english evolution and it was so nice to see a ball in anime Oh man, Blastoise is like my favorite Pokemon. Dude, this is the best day ever. I'm just gonna use some soil. <laughs> it has Intimidate. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste too many balls, <coughs> uh, Pokeballs here. So, if we can't catch it. I'll be very, very, very sad. This is my favorite Pokemon. It's so funny we just got this card came up with my trading card came to uh, last night. Which you should check out on my. Oh my goodness, one ball. Oh yes! Yes! Blast Toys was caught. Alright, sweet. I get to read the Pokedex. Here we go, guys. Alright, Blast Toys, eat chill, fish, Pokemon. Eat jets of water, it's pounds. From the rocket cannons on its shell, get much different things. Yo. Oh, man, I love this thing. Alright, and we'll just name this thing since it has the jets. We'll name You know what? Something hard in this life are just work for me. I guess I'll check out the last one. So I was a random item. You already know it's ability intimidate, so. And honestly, this blast wave might be a better nature than our Fortress Mom. You know, I don't know. Let's just take a look. It might have better IV than the girl I know. I mean, who knows? I'm not a big IV guy, but, uh, so, you know, Professor IV. I might switch just raising this. Actually, well, wait, have 
I taught in Fort Vermont in the ATM. because it'll give Blastoise higher speed all around, you know? Let's start racing Jetson right now. I think I will swap this for, uh, you know, it is a Blastoise, and yeah, we'll put them on. It's just, it's so hard to catch some starters. And, yeah, the adamant will probably turn it overall later, so. I like Sniper as the ability, but you know what? Uh, yeah, let's just raise uh, Blastoise here, and, you know, start raising it now. Then we'll switch Grappler to Defense Mode. And yeah, I'll leave her. Twos and threes, I like to see. Um, I mean, so, or the so, still um, blast toys here, real quick. We are working on level one and down. I should probably replace some, some balls as well. I'm such a jumping out, bro. Yeah, we are, we are sitting low, a little low. Yeah, we're sitting a little low on our balls. We're down to 30.
sorry, that's a laugh challenge while playing Pokemon. <laughs>
name it, uh, I'll probably just name you Little Piggy. Alright, new Pokemon, though. that's good. I mean, you never know, these Pokemon might be really, like, random people. <laughs> Look for nine tails. Uh, I don't know if we can catch nine tails though, because yeah, uh, it is fully evolved, and like I know we call it Blastoise, but that doesn't mean anything, you know. So we got really lucky that it only took one ball, but yeah, nine tails might take too many balls.
all good.
dropped that comment, you know, 20 minutes ago. I don't know. Hey, you, you, yeah, she might have talked to quite a while ago. Uh, I guess I'll just so, let's say, uh, let's use the Soldier Boy game feature here. <laughs> what Soldier Boy might have been. I will save state here. If we can't get it in, you know, by the time it wakes up, eh, we'll, you know, kind of stop it for now. So you know this is here, though. Just remember, early round, right above the flight, Aerodactyl. So, yeah, you know what? I might type that in chat just to remind myself. One, two, three, two, three. Fossil Pokemon. A Pokemon that broke these guys in the dinosaur era. It's either like Sawblade to steal the electric. Are you kidding me? Oh man. Um, hopefully this thing doesn't have true on. <laughs> Tackle hit it at all. It just feels weird sometimes. It's a random headset. 
Uh, let's go to George Jetson. Uh, let's check and see what Aya has to say. Uh, why is... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, it's just like, I hope it is, because if one's not good, then I literally don't know what to do. I got, I, you know, I, I can't put it any lower than that, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Alright, but pretty good stream overall. We caught my favorite Pokemon, Blastoise. We, um, yeah, we got two Darkness Approaches and Duels of the Roses. I guess I will put this to sleep. I'll try, like, eh, like two Pokeballs, and if we can't catch it, you know, we'll pass. We already have Ponders. Yeah, but, you know, this thing could be holding, like, a random TM or something. So, you know, yeah. But, yeah, we'll just happens to and uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh, uh, uh, I do need to go to the Pokemon Center. My yawns are getting low thanks to Spike, so. Alright. And now Gengar Snooze in here. Uh, by the way, chat, what's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, I, I'm sure you might have one. I could do you even like Pokemon? That's that's a good question, honestly. Great. Yes. All right. All right. More Dexter voice, guys. Here you guys go. All right. Here's the Dexter voice. Gengar, the shadow Pokemon, the leader that floats in darkness, belongs to a Gengar delight and casting curses on people. A <laughs> rock bug. That's funny. That's our Maldos type. So I'm gonna call this. Um, uh, <laughs> Jin Maldo, just so I remember what type it is. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yep, Team 18. Okay, let's see what Iga said about her Pokemon. Uh, I like. Po Never got to play it. Huh? Ah, I see. Well, that's uh. Hard to hear that I did. Yeah. Huh. You know, it's funny. Um, as far as my Pokemon experience, I definitely started late. You know what I mean? I was into Yu-Gi-Oh first. You know, next. obviously. But um, yeah. So I was a, kind of a late joiner for Pokemon. But uh, you know, it's pretty fun. It's fun. Yeah. So. And you can use, like, your, uh, Soldier Boy game console to, you know, download the, uh, cartridge. You know, uh, theoretically, in Minecraft, so. I'm not actually allowed to recommend that stuff on YouTube, but, uh, you know, I, uh, in Minecraft, so. Check out Gengar. Um, party. It's neutral, you know. Stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Just so you guys know, that is a horrible ability, so we won't be using this Gengar, uh, but I am glad we got it in the Pokedex. Uh, we also caught a new Pokemon. It was... Ah, uh, yeah, Aerodactyl, so let's uh, check out Terra Force. Check out its moves. Um, yeah, Steel Electra, that is so good. Bashful? Okay, that's neutral, that's pretty good. Guts! That's actually a really good ability. Wow. Yeah, boost attack, that's so good. Yeah, pretty good IVs, 19 speed. Yeah, this thing's gonna be beastly, bro. Um, yeah, we're, it's on the team, man. It is on the team, so. Yeah, let's add Terra Force. <laughs> let's start raging this instead of Swine Up, are you kidding me? Terodactyl. Man, what a great stream. Um, I'm definitely gonna save before, like, anything happens, but, uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, ah, nice, yeah. Get yeah, Violet? Nice. I plan to do the same, I guess. Well, and once we, like, improve the internet, you know, I'll get uh, Violet. What about Tamagotchi? Why, why, Oh, I'll tell you why, I guess.
thing you did. Well, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, if you guys do want to email me, my, my default email address is this, so... Yeah, so for any business inquiries, that is my, you know, business email, so... <laughs> like, like, no cap, that is legit, you know, if you have a serious business request, send it there, that's, yeah. <laughs> like I said, time to upgrade, you boomer. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's just one of those things. I got like I've legit had the same email for years, and you know it is what it is. It is what it is. Yes. <laughs> um, let's. Um, yeah, we definitely explored the route north of Jubilee quite a bit for the early morning encounters. Let's go south of Jubilee and see what's down here. Because, like, yeah, we hadn't ran into Gengar, Ninetales, Aerodactyl, um, and, you know, early morning encounters are unique. So, yeah, let's uh, check it out here. You know. <laughs> oh, shucks. Avoid the buy feedback, we will switch here. So let's go to, uh, yeah, get on me. So this thing's part fighting type. Fighting type Starby. <laughs> yeah, playing a randomizer is pretty fun though. So we'll go with switch. Yeah, we've got recover though, so not worried about getting on me. Uh, let's see here. How do you do? <laughs> But yeah, for those of you curious, like, you know, this isn't a trick question. When do you think the Floodmon 14 account was created? It's not a trick question. You know, legit, you know, it's 14. But this was, you know, this was back in ancient Egyptian times, you know, when you guys uh, had VCRs. If you don't know what a VCR is, you'll learn about it in your ancient Egyptian writing class. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically I created the account when I was 14, and I still know the password. I have like tons of uh, emails, photos, you know, from past just life stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know, I created a uh, an AOL, a MySpace, you know, so a Zanga. Oh yeah, who remembers Zanga? All right, shout out to all you Zanga fans in the house. But uh, yeah, you know, that's just I have what I have, and I don't have what I don't have. So I'm honestly proud of myself for a lot of people. 
don't make their, you know, email account default, or oh, did you forget the password? But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud. I've had that account for... Because uh, I'm 31. 17 years? A long time. So, uh, you know, yeah. So... <laughs> But uh, no, seriously, that I check that email, you know, religiously. So like, if you legit have something that you need to talk about, you know, in private, that is the absolute best way to reach me. You know, the email I dropped in chat, Lundmon14 at Yahoo. Yeah, that is legit. Um, you know, because some people will, will will talk to me about stuff on YouTube, like leave a comment, and they'll be like, it's urgent, it's urgent. No, but like legit. Put uh, Floodimon14 at Yahoo and like literally email me. Because I check my email like about 50 times a day. That's how many contacts I have through Yahoo. It's just because, you know, they're mostly personal. But I check that email account religiously. Like I'll literally, you know, go there 50 times a day and just, you know, check it. And um, yeah, so yeah, that's the absolute best way to reach me. If anyone, you know, has ever, you know, needed to reach me. Uh, and that's for you personal watchers, for you Facebook watchers, especially you Facebook watchers, because uh, a lot of you ask, like, how do I reach you personally, you know, I, I've got some private, you know, like, literally, that is the best way, you know, I check Facebook maybe, eh, maybe once every 10 days, you know, as far as my notifications, I check Twitter, eh, I check Twitter often enough, you know, like, eh, five times a week, you know, just randomly, um, and uh, a YouTube comment I check. Nah, it just depends, you know. The Rhino, okay, pretty good Pokemon. Um, yeah, and like Twitch Whispers. Uh, you know, it's funny, I have to use Twitch Whispers, which is good, you know. I hear streamers get uh, hate whispers, particularly. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just kind of it's weird. Like, I heard people get weird whispers, um, you know, just about me. of that. Thankfully, no spam. Uh, where's the wood? Knock on wood. Uh, th there's some wood by my door. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, thankfully, none of that. You know, yet. Yet. So, <laughs> that's honestly, uh, you get those kinds of things. Just, it, it's hard to it's easy to say, you know, ignore them. But, it's, you know, yeah, you seem like, yeah, that's, I'm not looking for Terra Force Aerodactyl is normally a flying type, which means it's not weak to ground it. It's not even affected by ground. So it's pretty, it's kind of like an inverted normal type. But I would say the Steel type has so many resistances that, uh, yeah, it's definitely good. Um, and then, yeah, Electric, thankfully, has only one weakness. That is ground. So um, I guess, you know, I could, you know, scout out here and like the Dream combo, right? With the Electric Steel. Randomized to have levity. That would be a pretty baller Pokemon, no matter what it is. It could be a, you know, out here randomly with Steel Electric and Levitate, which uh, negates anything from ground. So that would be the baller, you know, <laughs> randomized Pokemon. 
Uh, the odds of getting that are pretty low, but, uh, you know, still electric. Overall, it's a nice combination. In with steel, you've got, like, nine resistances, so it's pretty good in the end. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So, I think that's all done. Um, yeah, I think with that, we've definitely explored and had a nice little catching stream here for the random Pokemon. I got to do the Dexter voice here randomly. Um... Yeah, I think all I'm going to do is just kind of... I'm not going to try to run into any different random Pokemon. I'm just going to make a beeline back to Flow Aroma Town. And we're going to water the berries. And then we will switch back to the Eodeo Water right here. So that's the plan. Or maybe like Master Duel or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So appreciate I get coming in. She's a, she's a good mod, man. Uh, yeah, Gengar is... Um, I can't believe I had to put this thing all the way at one, <laughs> just so, just so it'd be good volume. That's that's something that we're gonna have to remember on that one on this new way game. So put it at one. <laughs> By the way, Digimon, it's so funny looking at Terra Force. I've never really discussed how much I like Digimon on this channel. But, uh, yeah, I love it, man. I love the anime. Uh, you know, I'm talking about the original Digidestin, of course. Great anime, man. Um, you know, um, which of your Digidestin is your favorite, chat? Because, you know, there's everyone. There's, like, Ty, Matt, you know, Joe, Mimi, Sora, TK, you know, there, there's a lot of options. Yeah, just leave a comment down below, you know, on the YouTube VOD. Yeah, which Digi Destin? Yeah, that's a good comment question for this video. Which Digi Destin is your favorite? You know, it can be any season, any Digi Destin, anything. Which one's your favorite season, number one? And number two, who is your favorite Digi Destin and why? You know, because I'll have my answer in the comments below as well. Oh, and uh, spoilers, it's not time. <laughs> you know, Ty, the uh, main character, so, yeah. The best, the one thing I love about Digimon as an anime, though, is that Ty's not the main character. They're all main characters, because that's just what the story needs at the end, at the end of the day, you know. At the end of the day, every single Digidestin is, like, required to defeat evil, which I love. I love that as a story concept. And, you know, and, like, everyone got their time to shine, like, in the final battle, which is really nice, so. And all throughout the anime, really, if you think about it, so. Great anime, yeah. Digimon Digital Monsters, man. And uh, I watched all the way up to Tamers, so. 
pretty good anime. I'm, I'm pretty sure they made stuff beyond Tamers, but you know, I've only got so much time in the week chat. But honestly, if I just sat down and watched like the newest Digimon season that I haven't watched, I, I, I'm sure I'd love it. I'd like, I'd go crazy over loving it. You know, I'm sure I would. So. Almost back home, chat. So, and we're just gonna head up north to uh, Flow Aroma Town. Oh, wow, Altaria. That's a pretty good Pokemon right there. Alright, we are under level here. I'll try Wing Attack, but uh, yeah, if it's not super effective, we'll switch out. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's a crit. Okay. Okay. Alright, we'll stay in and get the XP. Good job, Terra Force. Good job, uh, War Greymon. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Alright. Nice. 241 EXP. Mm -hmm. Good. Just like the soup. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's any comments I need to respond to in chat. Chat, chat. Let's uh, let's go do a little berry check. Let's do a little watering, and we will be uh, yeah, we will end the uh, Pokemon version of the stream. Uh, let me think about what game I want to play next on the stream here. Um, ah, <laughs> game, game, nice. Uh, let's see. honey trees over here. I don't think it's been enough time. Alright, these are starting to sprout. That's good. Actually, more water for the lepus. These are really good because, um, yeah, normally you have access to a certain amount of ethers in this game, or ethers. Uh, but yeah, here in the randomizer, no such luck. So, yeah, honestly, uh, me doing the daily, um, you know, berry growing for lepus is probably going to become a thing here on, on stream. So, just because, yeah, you know, and also tomorrow, we can find a random Drifloon, uh, Drif Drifloon, so, which will be a random Pokemon, of course, but, uh, yeah, it'll be level 15, so that's pretty decent. Uh, no Pokemon here yet. But yeah, we'll go to the last watering spot, and we'll call it a stream, guys. Okay. This has been the, the daily, uh, kind of Pokemon check. So there you go. Take down should take itself down to the hero. But yeah, Digimon, man. <laughs> so many great moments in Digimon. Oh man, Magna Angemon evolving for the first time. Dude, that was flipping awesome. Roar? This attack could come up. But, um, 
Yeah, scary face I'm not gonna use, so we'll learn Roar. We'll learn Roar. Great job, Terra Force. <laughs> it's so funny that I named it that, but it has a PT like Terra, you know, like Terra Dactyl. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm so glad I thought of that nickname. I'm so proud of that one. Alright, we'll water these uh, Rosses. And yeah, with that, we are done with Pokemon Platinum Randomizer, guys, for now. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back here in about yeah, two hours, you know, so to check on our plants. So let's save here. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me here at Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. And I'll see you guys all next time. Alright, and now I'll cut to myself for more, uh, yeah, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel of Southern Roses. So this has been the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. Honestly, pretty good, yeah. Blastoise, got Aerodactyl, got Swine Up. We got a lot of good stuff, honestly, in this one, so very nice. So, Alright, let's uh, go back to Twitch Studio here. And then let's click on Just Chatting. Alright, alright. Uh, I usually make some backup save states just in case, so. And then I'm going to check on a few things here, chat. And, uh, you know, close some of the programs I've got open. So, yeah, we'll backup state for four and five. Just a little mental note to myself. There we go. Backup states are four and five. There we go. And I'll close Pokemon. There we go. All right, there we go. And then I'll close uh, Fluidence. So Florence has now left the uh, screen. <laughs> um, speaking of checking things, I usually do check my email right about this time uh, if I happen to be awake. So let's go check my email um, as well as like some Facebook and stuff. So we'll just do a little checking around. And uh, oh. <laughs> so there you go. Nice. Alright. Um, oh, nice. Okay, so my video is ready here on uh, YouTube. Uh, the one I was uploading. So I was uploading one of the VODs from last night. I think I was uploading, yeah, the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer VOD, so that's good. So. Alright, uh, be right back. I forgot I had to wake the kids up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank 
Oh yeah. Don't I have some clothes in the dryer? Um no. I oh no, I have some to fold and put up, like right here down there. Okay, okay. I can work on that while I just kind of randomly check on uh, some usual morning stuff. So Yeah, so I'll uh I'll just kind of move you guys a little that way and then we will yeah I'll just kind of put up my clothes and do some morning stuff that I usually do so all right All right That laugh, though. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> that was a weird one. All right. So that looks good. Um. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's good old Principal Pike. There you go. We'll be seeing some Inferno Fire Blast.
I'm just telling.
I don't can uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go like lock, lock the front door. And now, Caterpie will fight it. Yo, Kakuna, use Harden. Kill Metapod. Use Harden. Kill Metapod. Use even better Harden. <laughs> And he, he likes attacking with that bikini moth, huh? All right. Hey, that's what I was supposed to do. Hey, chat. Um, give me uh, about. Give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, chat.
All right, this is a warning for any of you who have light sensitivity. Light sensitivity. Yeah, this next monster's attack is a uh, perfectly ultimate great mob. And it's just the, uh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, he had the negate attack, but still, the warning still stands, so watch out. Careful. And after much struggling, Slime Toad finally goes down. I'm not even going to lie, chat and VOD watchers, I legit forgot that card was all the way over there. All right, chat, here we go. Photo sensitivity warning. So I guess uh, I'll say five when the uh, it's safe to look. So yeah, hang on a second. Just wait a sec. Now, my perfectly ultimate great mob, 196 Toxic Particle, 
So we give you a Kyan for 100 per fire face. <laughs> okay, we're some scales. Perfectly ultimate degree of mom. And I'll give a chance for the lag to catch up. And you hear the winning goal music. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Five. There you go. <laughs> yeah, should be safe by now, guys. Should be safe. I guess we'll try for the ritual. Javelin beetle pack. Oh man, missed it by one twice, but uh, eh, it is what it is. I'm gonna get going. Okay. Alrighty, I guess. Um, if uh, yeah, if you're heading to your stream, best of luck. Hope you have a yeah, good day. So, thanks for your help. Uh, cause those uh. Those things you added are honestly pretty, pretty nice, you know, for the auto mod. So thank you very much. I think we'll do one duel with the main vein flood deck and then we'll switch to some other game i don't know what game but uh... oh, it gets... <laughs> well actually keith's a little too easy let's go for darkness ruler here there we go uh the question is what do i even want to play An eye for an eye panic and a trap for a trap.
There we go. Alright, chat, let's start to turn the pipe. As always, Panic has a lot of traps back here. Not too many monsters. Well, we know that's a monster. <laughs> Um, I am glad that he fused here, though, because this card's pretty good. It has the same effect as uh, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, <laughs> but it's like a two-star monster, so... Really good. Yeah. Exposed his uh, tears, so now uh, we know he's a tier elements player. That's good. Doing pretty good. Uh, basically, I'm gonna wait till my leader catches up because we have a fusion for Kai Ryushin. There's the trap, Mesmeric Control. Now we simply overwrite Furious Seeking. And we know the card behind him is a monster, so... Ew, tons of time. Leviathan. Suffertize me, Captain. Maiden's back online, that's good.
Um, let's just try the direct attack. I'm sure he has a trap, but yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, I guess, uh, I called his bluff on that one. GG, you know, right? Alright, guys, and that'll do it for Duels of the Roses today. Let's just try for a three in a row. Good luck. Nice duel. Oh yeah, we got it. Yes. Handle of fate. I By the way, that's a Digimon reference. So <laughs> Oh, and we got if it is missile too. Good cards, good cards. Alright. Alright. We've also uh, reached a reincarnation, so I'll like reset like three or four times, you know, until we get a good one. But let's take a look here. At the cards we did get, yeah, job change wear. It was confused into quite a bit of cool stuff. Uh, and we got Candle of Fate. So, yeah, nature effect while this card is face up and defense. Opponent's monsters are reduced by 100 at the start of each turn. I've said this before with uh, Pugum, but uh, yeah, this is actually a, d a triply good effect. You get the stat reduction. You also get to pay attention to your opponent's cards, and if the re reduction doesn't work, your opponent has all spells and traps. Also, you pay really close attention. Uh, the ones with the red are monsters. The ones without red are either spells or traps. So that's actually a really good effect. That you know which cards are which for your opponent. So a really good card. Really good. That being said, let's try to reincarnate Quagata. Right around baby dragon level, so... Dragon Treasure, we're probably going to keep this one. Probably. Invisible Wire. Man, what a great reincarnation. And? Uh, is that Claw Reacher? That Claw's going to get you. Here comes the Claw. Oh, it's coming at you. That Claw's going to get you, little man. Here comes the Claw. Alright. Pretty good, but Dragon Treasure... Yeah, increase the power of dragons and sea serpents by 500. Really good. Uh, yeah, the guy who normally has this, we can't fight him yet. So the fact that we reincarnated for it is really, 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 really lucky. Visible wire is always good. So, all right. That being said, let's upgrade the flood deck. All right.
Alright, well, uh, yeah. If you guys, uh, watch for the Duels of the Roses portion, appreciate you guys. And now with that being said, we're going to switch right back to Pokemon. <laughs> Check on the, uh, berries. So, let's go to the interlude theme. Here we go. Little interlude theme. We'll go back to the paid screen. Let me just put this card in real quick. We'll give it a second. My PlayStation 2. A minute, minute to process update 1 of 47987. All right. And let's hear the lovely interlude. Nice calm music. Ah. Sounds like. Comforting button on 14. And we are now trading places. Hey guys, hey. back to me, Blood Mod 14. Hey. <laughs> Overall, pretty good stream, man. Honestly, pretty, pretty good. So. Let me do a quick audio check. And I'll unmute Chrome for uh, just a sec. So let me do some uh, audio check. Testing, testing, audio check. <coughs> second vocal test. Morning test, second volume test. Vocal test, oh, yeah, second vocal test. <coughs> <coughs> second vocal test. Morning test, second volume test. Vocal test, oh, yeah, second vocal yeah, test. <coughs> oh, man, I haven't watched this show in forever, bro. But, man, that show had a lot of funny moments. <laughs> Oh, if those guys would have played like Yu-Gi-Oh! even one time on uh, the show, I would have lost my marbles. Or if they like referenced it, you know. <laughs> they just start up and they're playing like Yu-Gi-Oh! instead of Halo Night. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Night. Oh, dude, I would have lost my marbles, bro. Me and like a whole bunch of other, like, you know, guys who like that show, you know. And, and are sem somewhat nerdy. So we would have lost our minds, bro. We would have been quoting the ever-living you know, bleep out of that episode. <laughs> uh, one thing I am going to do today, we're going to do a pack opening. Yeah, so pretty exciting here. So let's do that right now, actually. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is something I've been thinking of for stream. And uh, yeah, uh, interesting. But the we'll start with this. Let me just show you guys. So, uh, yeah, next up, guys, I actually bought this booster, yeah, box, like, quite a while ago, and I just never got around to opening it, but this is, uh, let's show all sides. Yeah. Yeah, now, we're not gonna open the entire box, you know, in one stream. That would be pretty exciting, but no. Um, but one thing, what we are gonna do is, uh, yeah. What I've decided is we're going to do uh, start doing two pack a day openings. And um, here's the plan. Here, here's what I've decided to do. Um, we'll, we will start with legendary collection, uh, legendary duelist, um, Merrick, 
Rage of Raw. And I'm actually going to switch to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel for a second, as far as the title, because I want to explain something, as far as the category goes. So here we go, let's switch to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Okay. So the stream info. Yeah, yeah, let's just switch the category. We can leave the title the same. Um, well, actually, Duels of the Roses is done, so... Type in Y. Why are you running away? I go with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Okay, we've updated stream successfully. Okay, let's click back in. And then, um... We can get some of these, rid of some of these Duels of the Roses tags. Since we're all done with that. And the England tag. That works for Civil too, by the way. Uh, this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and now what we want to do, we'll get rid of the chest. No, we'll leave the chest tag. Here we go. Let's put pack for the tag. Opening. Yeah, because here's the deal, guys, and I'll just explain it to you right here. And I'm going to type it in chat to you as I'm explaining. It'll save me some time. Um... Deck, build. We'll put deck and then build. We'll add deck. And then we will put building. So here's what I've decided to do with these packs. You may be wondering, you know, what are you going to do? You know, are you just opening them for fun? Um, No. So uh, let me change the title to... Uh, um, Yeah, this is going to be a new Master Duel series that I've, that I've been thinking of doing for a while. A while, Brian. But yeah, here's going to be the deal. So let me uh, I'll just update this real quick for you guys. Rage of, uh, no, let's put, um, Legendary Duelist. Let's put the entire name of the, uh, booster box. So, Legendary Duelist, yeah, Legendary Duelist, Rage of Raw. So, Legendary, Le, <laughs> say it with me, Led, it's gonna be Legend, wait for it, Dairy. So, yeah, Legendary Duelist, but maybe I can type this with one hand. Uh, no, probably not, <laughs> but, uh. Legendary Duel List. Um, yeah. Rage of Raw. Um, deck Creation Dream. Yeah, so here's the deal, guys. I'm sure you guys know. Um, and then I'll hit done. Um, but yeah, there are. Let me just read the box. Let me read the box because that's pretty exciting for you guys. But yeah, entire set includes 30 commons, 10 rares, eight super rares, and nine ultra rare. So each pack, yeah, five cards per pack. Um, yeah, and some of the cards you can get are like Egyptian god slime. You know, yeah, we're gonna slowly. Long story short. We're going to slowly build an Egyptian God deck. Well, then again, maybe we won't. There are other support cards in here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to start doing a, yeah, two-pack-a-day, two-pack-a-day opening. So, um, yeah. New Master Duel uh, Saga. Uh, yeah, so two-pack-a-day opening. And, you know... We don't have that much craft material in a Master Duel. And we also don't have too much deck variety. But basically, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eventually get to where there's 60 cards. They don't have to be unique cards. But, you know, I know some cards are limited, like Monster Reborn, which is pretty common in this pack. 
But what we're going to start doing is we're basically going to build, we're going to start building a, you know, Yami Merrick deck. And yeah, you know, Master Duel, very exciting. I'm glad I thought of this idea. Um, And, um, the way, but uh, the way we're going to do it, you know, the uh, methodology, the way we're going to do it is very slowly, very methodically. But yeah, we're going to start by opening two packs a day, and then I will craft the cards, the same cards that we pull in Master Duel. We'll add them to a <laughs> an agent deck, and we're going to slowly weed out the agent cards, the usual, you know, engines I use. And then we're going to slowly filter in the Yami Merrick strategy. Yeah, so pretty. So here we go, guys. Two pack a day. And uh, yeah, we're going to start opening it right now. Uh, also, side note, <laughs> I've been holding on to this for quite a while, but I decided, eh, let's go ahead and open it because uh, my birthday is two days from now. So but yeah, we're going to start the two pack a day opening. Wish me luck. And uh, by the way, you can also get Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw. It's a very slim chance, and it's very short printed, but we pull that card. It's like a $400 card, so, which we like. So. All right. So I think I have my keys in my pocket. Um, if I can use my tiger teeth, you know. I got a little thing here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this new series. Uh, and I, I have a feeling you guys will enjoy it, too, like, a lot, a lot, a lot. If I have to, I'll get like a uh, pen or something. Oh, I might have a pen. Ah, <laughs> I knew there was a reason I had clipped this to my shirt. Well, besides the fact that I needed to write some stuff down earlier today. Yeah, let's use this uh, pen. So here we go. All right, wish me luck, guys. And I'll just, uh, as far as the order, it doesn't really matter. I'll just choose them from the top, and we'll just keep going. So, all right. So, all right. There it is. Uh, yeah, the seal is broken. The seal of Orichalcos. There's no going back now. We can't sell it as a booster box anymore. All right, but let's smell that new card smell. Oh, man. There's nothing like the smell of, uh, you know, fresh Yu-Gi-Oh in the morning. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the stuff. All right, when we open that new that first pack, it's going to smell fresh. Yeah, fresh. Fresh to death. So. All right, but here's the box. Pretty cool. Yeah, so there you go. And let's uh, let's do a cool little display here. Let's uh, oh, let's be careful with the box. Let's be careful. Nice, nice. Okay, there we go. I knew I could do it. I've, I've done this before. But yeah, but now you can see the box as I pull packs up. So yeah, we'll just start uh, left or right. Um, I'll basically flip a coin if heads uh, right side, if tails left side. You know, don't take offense to that, my left-handed viewers. I literally chose that at random, so let's flip a coin, and let's get this started. All right. All right, so here's the coin, and I will catch it in the air. So, ready? All right, wish me luck. Hey, you know, for whichever side you want. So, here we go. And, oh, okay, caught it right there. It is Tails. So, we'll start on my left. My left side is actually over here, which I know the camera's inverted, but my left is this way. So, it is Tails. The coin is Tails. And the um, uh, Arizona Cardinals have decided to defer the kick to the second half. So, all right, and this is the state coin. Yep, just showing you guys. <laughs> All right, so we'll start on my left. So choose two packs. So there you go, right here. <laughs> Which is funny, like as I'm pointing on the screen, it's on the right, but trust me, it is my left. So one, two. All right, and we'll put the rest away until next time. But yeah, I'll probably only do, you know, two pack openings a stream. I think it's good. So here we go. All right, 
And we're going to open both. So let's start with this one. Okay. All right. So wish me luck. Yeah, five cards per pack. So, yeah, I think the dream is we only open 12 and we get all unique cards. That's the dream. The odds are we'll probably open Monster Reborn or some other banned cards multiple times. So, you know, that's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm estimating. Yeah, leave your estimation in chat if you're watching the YouTube VOD and are a fan of this new series. Yeah, leave your estimation in chat. Um, I'm thinking it'll take us about 16 packs. And I do want to build a 60 card deck, by the way. Yeah, let me write that in chat. You know, so. Uh, yeah. 60 card deck. Yeah. Start with usual agent engine. And that weed out the deck by replacing the cards we pull with the other the default uh, agent cards and uh yeah you e o master duel so yeah i just kind of typed it in chat but that's really the idea of this is we start with one of my default agent decks since I have like 17 of them. <laughs> and we, yeah, we eventually weed out the agent deck. And we have a Yami Merrick character deck, basically. All right, wish me luck. So I'll start with this one. All right, oh, I can't wait. That fresh pack smell. Here we go, guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's nice. Hmm. Yeah, that's the smell of children's trading card games. Wait, what? No. That's the smell of winning. Winning. Winning here, win there, win, win everywhere, where. All right. I got these off of Amazon like two years ago, though. So, uh, Well, probably about three or four, but whatever. You know, here you guys go. You guys can see the first card. Oh, it's Token Sunday. Wow, okay. So, Token Sunday. I'll type these in chat, I guess, as I pull them. So... Token Sunday. That way, that way it makes it easier on me later. Yeah, I can just look at my own chat logs and go from there. Uh, what else? Uh, Jinzo Jector. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, Jinzo Jector. And next card. That is what is that? Is that Mechlord Astro Dragon Asterix? Wow, it is. Yeah. Okay, and that, that's interesting. McCord, Astro, Dragon, Asterix. Okay, hmm. that's an interesting pull. Uh, next pull is, yeah, Holding Legs. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. So, Holding Legs, Holding Legs. All right. And for our rare, get, whoa, whoops, I actually accidentally saw the rare, so it is for our rare, yeah, Everlasting Alloy, which is a Jinzo support card, so that's good. So, right? Everlasting Alloy. So that's our first pack. <laughs> Pretty exciting. There you go, guys. Yeah, and this makes it a little easier since it's five cards per pack. Makes it nice and easy to show all the cards we got. But yeah, we'll add these. So there we go. And yeah, second pack of the day. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. All right, so we're going to smell that new card smell. But I think this will be a fun series. Like I said, I think it'll take 16 packs. Uh, there's also the possibility that we may pull like fours of and fives of. Obviously, you're only allowed three cards per deck. So, you know, that's why I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm thinking like for this new series I'm doing. That's why I'm thinking that it'll take about 16 to 17 packs. Um, but yeah, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to, uh, hey, 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 I, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're just in time. We're on pack number two. So yeah, I'm starting my new series of, um, yeah, basically flooding out the agent deck. Yeah. Cause I noticed I don't have too many unique decks and what I've decided to do is I have this box. Let me show you, I guess. Let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can rewind the VOD a little bit and yeah, there it is. Yeah. So we're. Opening up Rage of Raw. I've decided we'll do two packs a day to kind of 
That'll give us enough craft material to slowly weed out like an agent deck, an engine, and eventually we'll have a completely unique deck. So, um, but yeah, so for this pack, <laughs> we've got Jinzo, Psycho Shocker. We've got Mech Lord Emperor, a Skeel, <laughs> which is pretty good. All right. Uh, Ra's Disciple. That's cool. That's cool. And then, ooh, Millennium Revelations, actually a really good pull, uh, both for the pack <laughs> and for Master Duel. That's uh, honestly really good. And then for our regular rare, uh, Cosmos Channeling. All right, all right. So let me uh, type those in chat here so I know to add them to my Master Duel deck. Here we go. Oh, but yeah, there's the uh, pack. So there we go. And we'll start doing two a day. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today. So there you go. <laughs> all right. How about we got a super rare first day? Uh, by the way, as you saw with the first pack, this um, pack isn't guaranteed to have super rares. It's just like, if you pull them, you pull them. If you don't, you don't. So, there you go. So, All right, so I'll type in the next five. Um, we have Cosmos. Cosmos. Handling. But uh, overall, I think this will be a fun series. Like, really fun. Really fun. So, Cosmos Channeling. Jinzo. <laughs> Ningen. Psycho. Talker. Alright. Jinzo. Alright. Mech Lord. Emperor. Uh, Steel. Okay. And then Ra's Disciple. Ra's Disciple. And there we go. There's Ra's Disciple. And Millennium. Millennium. Revelation. All right. So there we go. So, all right. And now all we do is we, now we boot up Master Duel. We boot up MD. Yeah, and let's uh let's start weeding out the deck. Yeah, let's start weeding out an agent deck. All right. So, oh, I didn't even think about the extra deck. Ooh, how are we gonna get extra deck pulls? Hmm. This this pack doesn't have too many extra deck cards. I guess we can throw whatever we want in the extra deck because, yeah, <laughs> there are no 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 no. There are, like, three extra deck cards. Because Egyptian God Slime is in this pack. So, eh, you know. All right. <laughs> All right. There you go. And now we double-click UGO Master Duel. And uh, yeah, while, while I wait for this to boot up, <laughs> I'm going to go like sleeve these cards real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah we'll just kind of start sleeving them. Uh, let's make a fresh page here. Yeah, and honestly, I think that'll help me as well. If I sleeve them as we go, it'll make it way easier, way easier for me to keep track. So let's put uh, Revelation right here. There we go. And uh, Disciple. Channeling. Alloy. Sunday. Token Sunday there. Uh, it's it's pretty nice that we pulled both um, out of random packs. We pulled like a uh, a nice two card combo. We pulled Jinzo Jector and Jinzo like all you know in the same in the first pack opening. It's honestly really good luck. So. And then we've got these. All right. All 
Okay. All right, guys. So that's our first pack opening. The only card missing on here is Cosmos Channeling. So there you go. Yeah. Nice little look. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just set it behind us. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. And I will put away the packs. So. Oh man, this is awesome. This is going to be a fun idea. Also, obviously, I'm putting the packs on empty appropriate spots on stream wall. So. Yeah, because we have the structure deck right here. I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but it's... So, I'll just put it, like, right above it. Right above it. There you go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Get some uh, water check. Alright. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Live by Flip Flop Team. Now I should call this series something else. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Pack opening weed out challenge by Flip Flop Party. That sounds good. Pack opening weed out challenge. Nice. That sounds like a good name for a series right there. All right. So we're switching to Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Yeah, this is the weed out challenge. <laughs> we can just have like a, a big screenshot of the card weed out. <laughs> that honestly sounds. Yeah, let's uh, let's. Hey, Tim, Tim, hey, clip that. Let's let's get on that. Let's get on that artwork today. <laughs> All right. All right. And let the weed out challenge begin, guys. <laughs> All right. And so the random agent deck I'll start with. Um, we have plenty of these. Um, I'll leave the crystal beast. Sure. Um. The one, this deck's pretty good, honestly. Duelist Cup main is honestly pretty good. Um, I think there are some outdated cards in here, though. I like the Reversal Quiz. That's a unique take on Agents. So we'll keep that one. Uh, full Counter, I think, is the most updated. So I won't mess with this one too much. Um, I think the one we'll edit is Duelist Cup, yeah. So, yeah, because this one's pretty solid. Yeah, let's leave this one as is. This one's pretty... I guess Parthian Shot's a little outdated. Uh, but yeah, this one is updated because I have access code in here. Uh, but yeah, let's get rid of Duelist Cup. Yeah, slowly but surely, guys, we're going to get rid of this. So the interesting part about this challenge is that the decks I... We're basically devolving the deck. Um, because the deck I already have is pre-made. It's pre-built. Um... But the interesting thing is we must add all 10 cards. So that means I need to get rid of 10 cards right off the bat. So I'll get rid of Ascendant of Thunder. There are some... How many spells and traps did we get overall? Um, I can actually look at the panel. This honestly does help me. Okay, four. So we got rid of four. 
So, and yeah, the deck's pretty good at balance, so let's get rid of four spells and traps. Uh, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of a really good card first. So let's get rid of... Um, yeah, believe it or not, let's get rid of Solemn Judgment. Crazy, I know, but yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this warning. And let's get rid of one floodgate because i really love my flood loves his floodgates so let's get rid of and the band played on no no, no no let's get rid of kaiser yeah kaiser coliseum's a little too good so let's get rid of that okay and then let's add the spells and traps which i mean this does help speed it up that i have it right here so let's add oh let's add Let's add, there we go, I fixed it. Let's add Token Sunday. What's good about Token Sunday is I do have Scapegoat in this deck, so that honestly, you know, for the card to even have a purpose is good. So yeah, so Token Sunday is actually pretty good uh, removal. So let's add Token Sunday, hell yeah. There we go. And then well, it's actually a pretty good two card combo with Scapegoat. We'll add Millennium Revelation. Uh, everlasting alloy i know i have everlasting alloy i won't even have to craft this one so that's good yeah so there's one of those uh, millennium revelation is the next one so let's do this chat that's right we're building as we go millennium this is a fun series i have a feeling revelation all right but it's only a matter of time before we get to like three ofs or like banned cars you know a lot of banned cards in this set. And the other one is Cosmos Channeling, right? Channeling. Yeah. Which I... Don't, wait, wait. Uh, hang on. What's it called? Oh, it is called... Wait, is this card not in Master Duel? Hang on. Let me put in here. Cosmos. E O S. Oh, that's interesting. If it's not in Master Duel, what should the rule be? Um, I guess I guess if it's not in Master Duel, here will be the rule of the um, yeah weed out challenge. If it's not in Master Duel, I'll think of an effect that's very similar. Um, but it has to be the same card type. Like, let's say this is a continuous spell, and we don't have it in Master Duel yet, or it's like a brand new card. I'll think of a continuous spell with a very similar effect and just add that. Yeah, that works. That works. Yeah. So I'll think of a, yeah, like, you know, those uh, memes like we have um, uh, Nibiru at home or like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll kind of basically do that. If we pull a card that's not in Master Duel, I'll kind of make a, you know, very similar uh, adjustment. So that works. That works. So. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I just misspelled it, probably. So, there we go. We'll craft one of those. There we go. We may actually... This is honestly a pretty helpful series, too. Because we may open some uh, free pools with secret packs by doing this challenge. Yeah. Kind of good. And luckily for me, we already have the Jector. So, let's get rid of five monsters now. Or five other cards. You know, we're slowly weeding out the uh, stuff, so let's get rid of uh, Sanctuary in the Sky. This is very soon going to be obsolete, so let's get rid of that. Um, also, Rebirth of Parshath. I definitely want to get rid of this sooner rather than later. The reason is, is this is reliant on counter trap stuff. So, you know, eventually we're going to weed out the spells and traps, so let's move this down to one. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. As well as, like, you know... Stuff that's reliant, you know, on each other. Like, this needs Sanctuary in the Sky. But let's definitely bump this down to one. Um, the uh, Divine Punishment. As good as it is, eventually, it's not going to be very useful. So, um, yeah. And let's also dump a Kaiju, I think is a good idea. Because uh, I don't have Slumber in here, do I? I do not. So, yeah, let's dump um, uh, uh, this one, Gardala. Okay, and that gives us six spaces free. I think we have uh, six monsters, right? Then we have five monsters. Okay, so that works. 
No, we do have six. Okay. So let's get rid of two more cards. Um. Oh, yeah. This card can also synergize with Token Sunday. That's nice. Uh, let's get rid of maybe an Ash. Yeah, because eventually we won't even have Ash catch him. So, no, no. Let's get rid of Marshmallow. Let's do it. Yeah. Get rid of Marshmallow. Um, and then let's get rid of one guard Guiding Ariadne. Yeah. That's the pick. That's the pick. Okay, so. Genzo. Genzo. This is going to be a fun series I have. It, it, my deck's actually going to morph and transform into something else. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. We got the Jector. Okay. So that's two down. We have Ra's Disciple. Yeah, Ra's Disciple. There we go. Pretty good card. Um... Let's see, and then we have um, legs. Holding legs. Holding legs. Oops, legs. <laughs> what a fun series this is going to be. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And then, um, holding legs. Mechlord, yeah, yeah, skill. So, what's funny is Mechlord Emperor skill. You may think it's bad, but its effect might actually came up. So, uh, yeah, we'll take uh, Mechlord. Um, Mechlord. Let's just type Mechlord. We can find it. Uh, <laughs> if we can't find it, it's a skill issue. Eh, eh, what they did there. All right, so there's skill. Yeah, and this is you can only play this when a synchro's out, but. That's going to come up a lot, I have a feeling. Right, so... Um, okay, let's read this card. Can I be normal summoner set? Must be special summoned by its own effect. When a face-up monster you control is destroyed by a card effect. Okay. Other monsters you control cannot declare an attack. Once per turn, you can target a synchro monster your opponent could... Yeah, that's really good equipment to this card. Card gains attack. Um, you... Uh, you can send one monster you control that is equipped to this card. This card can attack directly, yeah. So, pretty good. I have a feeling skill will come up a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, here's the tricky one. Is the other card we pulled was this, yeah. Mechlord Astro Dragon Asterisk. So, this requires you to have three or more Mech Lords. So, this is going to be effectively a brick. But we do have to play it. Um, so, yeah. Basically, I hope to discard this. Eventually, hopefully, we'll pull some card that, like, discards for cost. And we'll basically discard this card, like, every time. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll pull a full Mechlord deck, though, chat. You never know. We could pull anything in the pack opening challenge. So, the weed out challenge. So, yeah. Sure that's the right monster. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. And so, with that, let's, um, yeah, let's uh, name this after the challenge. Um, Agents um, deck. Um, well, let's just call this two pack a day, uh, rage of raw weed out challenge, weed out challenge. All right, there we go, guys. And, uh, yeah, that is part of the challenge for me to uh, build decks other than agents as an engine. So there we go. And, um, yeah, uh, with that, I, uh, how many cards did we craft? I think we only needed to craft. Uh, like a couple so yeah that's honestly pretty good um yeah so with that let's save here <laughs> and yeah let's get out of here and of course like we're not just gonna you know craft it and be done let's uh, change some accessories here this is no longer gonna be the same deck let's make it uh yeah the darkness deck yeah protector let's uh remove the duelist cup and let's go with a uh, light and darkness dragon sure that's cool field parts yeah let's change let's start to mix it up yeah, and you know what? For the three main cards, let's change the three main cards. All right. So the main one will be Jinzo. And we'll feature some cards we pulled today. Yeah. And then we'll pull Everlasting Alloy. And we'll put Jector. Now we'll put Ra's Disciple. Nice. So there you go. There you go, guys. So three other cards we pulled today. And yeah, with that being said, you know, let's actually demonstrate how these cards work. So, or try to. So. Let's go into a duel, and we'll go to ranked, and we hope to get some combos off, yeah. So, let's change decks from cash and lock. 
to and I'll do like how many duels a day will I do with this challenge yeah, like six that sounds reasonable that sounds reasonable also it sounds like good enough to do like clips so okay All right, and it's not a challenge without some kind of obstacle. So here's what I'll make for the obstacle. We must win three duels a day with this deck. Yeah, that's gonna be challenged. So that's gonna be the part of the challenge that I didn't say yet, but we must win. And you might think, well, three, that's not that many. Oh, trust me, you know, we better hope we get some scoops. The more and more packs we open, because the less and less consistent the decks are going to become. So, challenge. Actually, you know what? Three sounds a little easy. Let's make it five. You know, must win. And that's the key part. Win. Uh, five duels a day uh, with the new changes. So, yeah. You know, day one, I'm just going to explain the challenge. This will be the exception to the rule. But uh, yeah, that'll be the, the challenging part. You must win five duels a day with the new changes of the uh, weed out challenge. So that should be pretty interesting. And overall, we should get some funny moments in this challenge. So that's good. Uh, also, it, it it's kind of good that I'm in platinum. You know, because if I was like in low gold or whatever, yeah, you, any deck can win there. But the fact that I'm already in platinum... It's like the perfect sweet spot. It'll be challenging enough. You know, and oh, here's the other thing. STK decks don't count. You know, those decks that just, you know. Yeah, those wins don't count. Those wins don't count. So, yeah. So, there we go. Okay, with that, I think we're all... Um, yeah, we've explained, like, all the rules of the challenge. So, yeah, let's just uh, see if we can find some duels and go from there. So... Right. Wish me luck, guys. This is going to be a fun challenge. Wish me luck. Wish me... <laughs> Two pack a day opening. New challenge. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> but yeah, I have some comments questions for you guys. How many packs do you think before we hit, you know, four of a card? Because eventually we will hit four of a kind. You think we'll be like eight packs in, uh, you know, nine. Uh, honestly, I think it's possible because I remember now that we have to open some of the Esper Robo cards, I think it's honestly possible we hit uh, uh, four in a row, four, uh, four of a kind within, it is literally possible within six packs because I've opened the set before and I remember my luck being pretty bad, you know. Um, so yeah, that's still going to be my prediction is that I, in six packs, we'll pull like four Jinzos, you know, or, or whatever, four of a kind. So yeah, leave your, leave your predictions below chat, uh, in the YouTube VOD, you know, yeah. Like, uh, when do you think a four in a row will occur? Uh, when do you think we'll hit the first banned card? Yeah. Cause eventually we will hit a card that's either banned or limited. Yeah. When do you think we'll hit the first banned card? When do you think we'll hit the first limited card? You know, in Master Duel. And when do you think we'll hit, um, like, our first Ultra? Because we haven't pulled an Ultra yet. Yeah, that's all good questions. All good questions. So, yeah, just leave the number. Oh, by the way, I think there's 36 packs in a box. There you go. And also... How many packs deep do you think the deck will be fully complete? By fully complete, I mean 60 cards, you know, 60 card deck. So, yeah. Pretty interesting questions. Um, It should be fun. Oh, man, Royal Prosperity. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah, leave your, you, leave your comments below in the YouTube VOD. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this new series. Pretty excited about it, so. Yep. <laughs> this should be a fun one. Um, now, as far as the length, I'm guessing the series will only go for the month of October. Yeah, I, well, 
I don't know. It really just depends on luck. We have really bad luck. Um, may continue into November. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I figure by the end of October it should be over. Yeah, you know, yeah, maybe it should be. It should be. Anyway, we got the dust. So I'm guessing this is labyrinth. I wouldn't pay attention to the prosperity, but yeah. <laughs> there it is, guys. Where's the ice cream? There's the scoop. Hey, that's win number one. I, pro I probably should keep track, so I'll keep track and chat. There we go. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that's uh, win number one. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man, emoji. When a duel goes just as you planned. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Be here. Look at the match history. Let's see what deck they were running here. I didn't even look at what cards they took off of Prosperity. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It was Eldritch. Ah, good old Eldritch. It was funny. We were talking about this um, two streams ago. It was just like, yeah, nobody plays Eldritch anymore. And then, what do you know? We're here in Platt. It's just the, it's just good enough to run into. But uh, yeah, pretty good overall. Three Sanguine, you know, yeah. Uh, the Royal Prosperity, pretty nasty. Good thing that you didn't get this. Yeah, that's really good deck. Uh, really good stun strategy. So, <laughs> I love the anguish patterns too. By the way, that's honestly a good tech. Uh, but yeah, they have the Egyptian God Slime as well. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. All right, so there we go. Two pack a day. Rage of Raw Weed Out Challenge. Here we go. Rule number two. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> you know what's funny about this series is like we're gonna start to see the impact of the cards we pull um yeah like eventually you'll start to see like why we're winning with the cards we pulled you know just now and i guess why we're not drawing as consistently you'll eventually see you know What's good and what's a, we pulled all agent stuff here, so that's lucky. So we've got a chance. I mean, that's not a guaranteed win, but uh, this hand could look a lot worse. I'll just say that <laughs> it really could. The fact that their setting is also good, so we might get our second win here. I don't know. Just draw. Let's play. There it is. There's the brick. Okay. All right. Well, let's try to see what we can do here. Venus, I'm your Venus. Response by Ragnarok. No response. Okay. I'll activate Sanctum here. All right. This will boost the Venus. Okay. And I'll try to use her effect. Occupy point down. So stay. Mystic Shine Ball. Shimmy Shoji. Right. And Occupy point down. So stay. No Maxi is also good. Mystic Shine Ball. Shimmy Shoji. Good part is we can go into um uh yeah i can go into um uh parshath and discard this card discard asterisk because i don't really have too much of a use for it so that's good all right so that's those are the mystic shine balls now we can go into ajit zamunda protector uh, let's see do i need a meal no i do not so I will gladly add, um, yeah, uh, uh, the Earth, if I'm not Ash. Add, yep. We'll take Earth. Going pretty good. Standard uh, combo line. Um, I could get rid of the... No, no, no. Let's just uh, go straight for Parsha. All right. So two materials. I'm not scared of one back row. All right. Leo, the let's your night lord. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go. Beat. All right. And we will, uh, yeah. Use Parshath. We will discard this. We'll attempt to add Christia. All right. And there's Christia right there. All right. And now we will, um,. Right, um, right, but you can't special summon after Christian. 
So what I need to do... Hmm. Let me think. Oh, maybe I should have kneeled, actually. Or I should have pitched Earth? Yeah, I should have pitched Earth, actually. Wow, instead of mechanical. That's uh, crazy. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Asterisk. Um, I could banish Venus. Not my normal combo line. But you know what? That's okay. Um, let's do it, just so I can get Hyperion and um, Akersha out here. So I will actually banish Venus from the field. Whoa, wait. I could banish uh, Earth, right, for my hand. Okay, let's do it. So let's get rid of Earth. For Master Hyperion. Bomb. Ragnarok. Okay. And we will special summon um, Christian right here. Alright. And we will now use the effect. Take a Shine Ball. With a hand. This is right up planning. Not bad. <laughs> not bad, not bad. So. They're gonna make something be level one. I imagine they're going after Christian here, so they can try to negate its effects, as well as mill and interrupt some stuff. A pretty good effect though, foolish burial. That uh, so, hmm, counters on all our stuff, huh? Oh, uh, response. I'm sure this card has a grave effect. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. So. Alright, so that card should be doing something here. Add a Predator Plant monster from your deck to your hand. Set for by Bliss. No. There we go. My plan is just to clear. Alright, so we'll use Hyperion here. Let's go bowling, chat. Alright. And show me that strike. They got that face down. Now that should have a floating effect as well. Ooh, no floating effect. Wow. Well, all right, chat. We win. So, <laughs> there we go. So, Christian. Don't have to worry about the gores with Christian. Uh, yeah. Hyperion. And that is the Agent OTK, guys. So, here you go. It's your light, watch us. Holy Night to Sword. Nicely done. All right. So, that's why I usually run Agents. Pretty easy OTK. Against Ragnarok there. All right. But uh, that's win number two. <laughs> Once again, mostly on the back of Venus. <laughs> What's funny is Mystic Shine Ball of Vanilla is probably going to be one of the last cards I get rid of, actually. Uh, alongside Venus, of course. So that's pretty funny. Um, let's type that in chat so I remember. And then I will take a small break. Not bad. Two out of two on the wins, though. So, yep. All right. Win. All right, and we are, we're on duel number two as well. So um, this duel won't count for the challenge. I'm actually going to give somebody a free timeout. And I'm going to start going to cook something. But yeah, whoever duels here gets a free timeout. I guess it, no, it doesn't count for our six duels a day. Um, yeah, also I should mention that. Um, if it seems like, you know, a quick disconnect, like a quick scoop where they don't even play any cards. I mean, I'll count surrenders as wins. But like let's let's say they scoop and it looks like or it looks like they've clearly won and they like somehow disconnect on the McDonald's Wi-Fi. I won't count that either as a win. I'll count that as a loss because like if it's pretty clear they had enough damage on board to win, then it's a loss for us. You know, we'll we'll do some fair judging. Um, because there are sometimes connection issues and I don't wanna cheap out on the challenges. You kinda you guys I think you guys watching the VOD kinda get what I mean. Basically, like, like let's say this guy, this girl scooped right now. I wouldn't count that. That's no, you know. I mean, maybe I should because they bricked. But yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't count it because it's just like, hey, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, this duel won't count. Um, oh, it's our turn already. Well, I guess never mind. I guess this duel will count because I'm going to conduct my turn right now. Giant ball, nice. We got skill, so no skill issue here. We got holding legs. So let's summon holding legs here. Okay. Use the effect. Response. And this is actually interesting. It has the giant tree. Interesting. Okay. 
All right. I would have just uh, let Imperm be bounced there if I was them, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll set Fallen right here. Okay, go right here. And we will, yeah, just battle. And holding legs. Direct attack. And we'll end the turn. All right. Well, this duel is going to count. Not looking too good, honestly. So, Imperm pass. This deck could literally be anything. Let's shotgun Fallen Sanctuary here, though. Let's shotgun this. Nope. And let's set... Um, yeah, Divine Punishment here. Right here. No negation from Fallen. Uh, let's change this to off. Yeah, no negation from Fallen. Not yet, anyway. Um, so all of their monster effects are online. Unless they make me discard from my hand anyway. That's a possibility of piercing the icy. Was this Dark Magician? Or it could be any deck that uses normals. What in the I see shit. That's a smart tech pick. Pretty good. Okay. And then they normal summon Darby, which lets them draw a card thanks to piercing. Very good. And this will also boost them against as uh, extra deck cards. So I gotta be careful. So they're going to probably overlay into Dreadnought. Mm hmm. That's fine. Shiaru. That's fine. They have a lot of options from here. Yep, change its level to... Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Easy. And then... Mm-hmm. Pretty good. So this is the main... This is like the Stratos of the deck. Uni. So, pretty cool. Two ships are very good. Very consistent. Very powerful, too. Let's see what they do next. Dreadnought. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this deck. Um, right, so they get to draw a card. And, yeah, can attack direct. Um, it's up. Effect negation. And they may combo some more because they got to draw a card. Now what's this one do? Hmm, yeah, they're they're not done. That's pretty good. Wow. Hmm. Yep. That's pretty good. Yep. Oh, here comes another four. Then they get to place a Shari on top. If they want to. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> why wouldn't you, you know, prepare your next turn? Uh, there's some certain situation. And there's the Ikura. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if we'll make it to next turn. Maybe I should escape goat right now, but they may set up something with some negation. I honestly, I probably should. Well, if they play like a magic card or something, I will go ahead and shotgun scapegoat. Just in case, yeah. But they may have it regardless. But, you know, I'd rather put up the wall and give myself a chance than, you know. Yeah, just kind of fold. So here comes another card I Iruka class. So draw a card to make a second attack. Mm hmm. Uh, mm. Not bad. Not bad. Right. So they drew another card. I can see what they're going for though. Okay. And then on this one, I will activate scapegoat. Just in case, yeah. So activate scapegoat here. That way we just make sure there's not like too much crazy stuff happening. 
I don't want scapegoat to somehow get negated, you know. If they write Geki, they write Geki. I don't mind, but yeah, I just really didn't want something crazy to happen there. Because uh, they have two more fours, so, you know, yeah. Response? Okay. Another level four. This is... Yeah. Carrier. Right, so they get to draw and then add a bar trap. So, yeah, scary. Scary, man. Alright, so... Can't be destroyed by card effects. So there, there's the protection. Mm hmm Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, this is usually an OTK, so... They still might be able to OTK. I don't know, because some of these cards can attack twice. So... Let me just keep that in mind. Also, what's the field spell do besides this? Nothing. Um, Duncan card. Oh, okay. Hmm. Wow. Your opponent pays life points. He wants that much. That's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Yeah. Anyway, you can see how high their attacks are getting. And some of these were attacking twice. Yeah, scary stuff. Too bad they're not using any um, Exceeds monsters. I mean, Synchro monsters. That's uh, unfortunate, you know. But a uh, bit of a skill issue. <laughs> That's going to be a funny joke to make throughout the series. <clears throat> anyway, Divine Punishment's offline. But it is milled from the deck, which is good. Uh, that <laughs> oh, Master Duel. Oh, you love to troll me. Uh, yeah, let's start with uh, Radiant. What should we Radiant, though? Mm, that's kind of annoying, honestly. Class Carrier. Um, I think this is the bigger threat, though. Uh, during your main or your opponent's battle phase. I think we've lost regardless here, but... Yeah, that's honestly annoying, too. So... I think we cleared this to stop the, uh, kind of bad. All right, so, hmm, let's just, uh, let's get rid of this one right here. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Mm hmm Now, the field spell should trigger, so... Yeah, and I went, what happened? Oh, okay. Well, I guess they didn't have a Shari in hand. Um, I could go into, <laughs> into Link Spider. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I could go into Link Spider and then Special Summon. Sure, why not? You know, let's get some, uh, get some credit here. So let's use uh, Sheep Token for Link Spider. And unfortunately, this is literally a skill issue. I could have went into BLS if I had like a different, another kaiju or, yeah. So, pretty much a skill issue. Also, Master Duel loving to troll us. So, but uh, yeah, we'll just go into those two. And I'll flip some of them and I'll show them. I'll just show them like, hey, I drew this a turn too late. So, <laughs> there you go. That, that happens sometimes, though. That happens a lot. Alright, they should uh, combo a little bit here, chat. <laughs> well, how much are they going to combo under summon limit? I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> there's a way to do it. Uh, the two ship players will find a way. Oh, battle phase, thank you. That saves me some time. Uh, but honestly, pretty good luck for what we've had so far. We're already at two wins, so that's really good. And now they can destroy a card. Probably summon them in, yeah, out of spite. <laughs> gotcha. 
stopped you from BM and didn't act. Right back, Chuck. Um, yeah, this one I will be right back. So that's three duels total. Two wins, one loss. So that's good. Ah, uh, yeah. Get a little bit of credit there. Nice little series we got here. Um, but yeah, I will... This doesn't count for the challenge. I'll literally give the way the time loss.
thing I want is still the. Alright, speak it. Oh, okay, so it looks like we gave uh, a Black Queen player a free win. So there you go. Which was weird. They ended on two set pass. Interesting. Which is uh, not typical of Black Queen, by the way. <laughs> Pretty atypical on that one. I guess they uh, they bricked chat. I guess it's uh, yeah. <laughs> their lucky day. Uh, check on found and I uh, yeah, everything looks good okay uh, who goes first they do good. that means I can eat I predict it'll end on the standard inboard. Uh, I do have one kaiju to take away the uh, full armor master, so that's good. Uh, oh, okay, there's still calm one. Uh, right. <laughs> Igos told me about this before. Probably should check my Yu-Gi-Oh! Master, uh, Master Volume. But, uh, <laughs> it might be muted and it might be too high. I didn't even think to... Right. And let's do that right now. It's perfectly at five. Okay, I'm assuming you guys can be able to hear me. Too high. I didn't even think to... Right. And let's do that right now. It's perfectly at five. Okay, I'm assuming you guys can be able to hear me. Too high. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> no. Alright. Chrome is back to me. I am. There's, oh, Chaotic Chaos Ruler, so this turn's going to be quite a bit long.
they got the dream team combo chat so they got tg hyper librarian plus a tuner and some non-tuner stuff they can also reset chaotic magical dragon so it's gonna be a pretty good turn for them i can't uh imperm this but if i had it trust me i would imperm this card <laughs> that's the key to the whole combo line Engine they're running here. 14 cards down. Alt Dragon. Yep, got two Aura Wimsing. Pretty good. Got the Chinook as well. Or the Vada. They want to use Monster. Good, yeah. Pretty sure they. Did they use Vada this week? They did, yeah. Pretty good, yeah. They'll, they'll keep drawing some cards. Yep. Our turn now. That's interesting. I guess we'll be hide you on turn. We'll activate lightning on attack position monster. There goes that. Um, let's see. Let's act, uh, summon our angel Valkyrie, and then we will simply attack this card. Yeah, it's pretty high level. Back over here. There you go. Still have hard mod time. Uh, yeah, in the turn. Blackwing combo turn two. are hitting the spot. <laughs> pretty good, yeah. Pretty good day so far today. Noodles are hitting the spot. Good. Be sure to drink some water, chat. It's important to stay hydrated. So there's the Borea. <laughs> I 
Let's just type what our wind condition is here in the chat. I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. Same. <laughs> What's funny is the later and later we get into this challenge, this uh, weed out, you know, two pack a day challenge, the later and later we get into the challenge and the more and more, you know, packs we pull from Rage of Raw, the more and more the win con literally be our timer. <laughs> like we can go. Of a master. Okay. But yeah, you notice how they went to battle phase and they definitely could have BM'd a little more there, so. Oh yeah, a timer is our, gonna be our win con here pretty soon, so. For like all six duels. <laughs> that'll be that'll be pretty funny, honestly. So. Alright. Um yep. Nice hand, nice hand. Not too bad. Um, feel set. Third. Nice. Third. Valhalla is obviously here to help with the normal agent combos. So, eventually we'll have to kick this card out too, though, because we'll just have so many different types that it'd be a bad idea. <laughs> You know what? Just because we can, let's negate this. No. Or they probably got like Numeron or something. Yep, let's uh, speed up the OTK. <laughs> I figured it'd be something like this deck. Our uh, neighbors are here. Hang on a second.
world. Did they, uh, what did they do? Did they branded Dragon Pass? Oh, they mirror jaded and passed? Wait, what? Did they forget that? Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's just, uh, set this. Pass, I guess. Uh, whatever. Surprise, this duel's still going. I thought they would just OTK right there. I guess they forgot that I went first. But they shouldn't have forgot because I left, um... Yeah, I left, uh... Uh, Solemn Judgment down here and they twin twistered first turn. The heck? Unless they're just trying to be, um... Like, you know... What are they doing? Why didn't they OTK me there? I, I don't know. But, uh... Combo practicing? <laughs> we're not gonna sit through those duels, guys. If they're not attacking us when they have game, you know, we're not gonna sit through combo practice. That's... That is not what we do here. So, um. our carrier, yeah. Mm hmm. There's a blue bird. Once again, we're going to fill our trap. <clears throat> Pretty standard stuff here. Despia Theater. Standard stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. I probably should have scapegoated. Some uh, Despia stuff can negate. So, that's on me. This duel doesn't go next turn. <laughs> it's been far too long. What are they planning to just masquerade and pass? I mean, I guess that is a strategy. The losing one. Battle phase. Ah, oh, there we go. I was wondering, I was like, what are you doing? Alright, there's masquerade, so I'll pay to block. Cape go. Alright, but these little guys will defend me from your attacks. Nee, reveal, scapegoat, nee. It's like you should have finished me last turn. Uh, Kura, Kari, even Carnate player. Nee. No, not the blue one, that's my favorite. Nee, I bail you, you junk. Yeah, yeah, now I'll do your Albion stuff. Where? Where were you? Could have just finished me off when you. Sure. No, that is it. Regained, I'm guessing. In red. What are the duelists doing? Going for their, um, their dailies? Or their fuse summon daily? Let's, uh,. Up special summon here, chat. Go in the Mascarina, IP Mascarina, I think, and then um, that should get them to uh, use Mirror. So let's do Mascarina. That should bait something. Two goats. International Protocol. There it is. You're baited. That's your baited. And Brig Brand. They get to draw a card. That's back in the extra. I'll play Valhalla now.
No, I uh, I saw Jimmy's truck out there, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I guess I better tell you he's out there, or he's waiting for you. So. Yeah, it's cool. So we get out Master Hyperion. Yep, of course the red. Good. Let's see, that's uh, <laughs> Guardian Chimera. There's Quantum. Alrighty, and now we uh, battle for you. Alright, I uh, continue my main phase. Yeah. There we go, and now we'll summon Jin's Ojector. And now we will. Jinzo Jifter. So I will add a Jinzo. And there's the ash they drew into. Nice. Alright. Well done. Alright, and we will, uh, yeah, attack in here. Great job, Master Hyperion. First turn for us, so let's do it. Get the full combo chat. So uh, let's see if they have Imperm. Venus. Venus Hustle. Aku Pointo Down. Okay. Mystic Shine Ball. Shimmy Shoji. Alright. Venus Hustle. Aku Pointo Down. So stay. Mystic Shine Ball. Alright. Aku Pointo Down. So stay. Shine ball. Mada, 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 mada. Uh, we could do something pretty interesting here. We could go for Mask Arena. And then, um, yeah. Uh, a little bit of a different play than I normally do. But, uh, yeah, let's do Mask Arena. Normally I'll go into Moon and stuff. The fact that we have Christian Hands is pretty, uh, yeah. Pretty good. So there's IP Mask Arena. And then we can play get two. And then we can play Huttling Spider, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh yep, yeah. we go into the spider. Sure. Pretty sure from here we can go into Bora and Dragon. Oh. Go. <laughs> and that's the scoop. So that is win number three. We'll take that one though, because uh Obviously, they saw that what we were linking up towards, so they they just kind of quit. So, and yeah, we'll take that one. So that's win number three. We're doing good here. We're doing good. Um, yeah. So we just need two more wins, and that's it for the challenge for today. So, uh, yeah. In the meantime, let me check around some local streams here. We may, uh, oh, I'll also need to check my YouTube channel and, yeah, I usually check my email about that. <laughs> that was a good one. That was basically Venus hard draw win. Yes, <laughs> sir.
Not a bad hand here. I have a feeling Earth will get negated though. Let's see what happens. Setting. Be a good sign. Unless they're playing Jar Turbo. I don't know. There's Jin <laughs> That's cute. I I don't plan to special summon at all this turn, actually. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's summon the Agent of Mystery. The, uh, oh. Response. Okay, with this, I'll take a Venus. Ash. Okay. I will take Venus. Alright, that feels good. Battle phase, let's see what happens here. Right, Brigade, huh? And I will set three and pass. Two. That's my curve. Set three pass. Four turn. I, guess, I imagine they have revolt face down, so. Shotgun. I will, um, yeah, use on, um, Divine Punishment, of course. Um, we just want it out of the deck, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Always gonna shotgun that one. Since we're sitting on one divine. Uh yeah. there's divine punishment right there. Pretty good. Uh <laughs> sure, let's shotgun this and the band played on. Um and let's uh let's do that. Pretty interesting floodgate. So they can't special summon level twos. They control level two, so there they go. Uh there you go. So Pretty interesting floodgate, and the band played on. Actually, got like symphonic warriors and self accords back here. It's on the artwork. So. Pretty interesting floodgate. I don't think it'll matter too much on this because Karaz is a level two. A lot of the other tribe brigades are level four, so yeah. There's a <laughs> zoot. Heck yeah. That is a card. UDX are cards. Yeah. Yep. Not too worried though. He'll build up to a big fat material Dryden. So let's let him get rid of their extra deck for us. Um, as long as nothing like affects my stuff, you know, I don't really mind. So they're gonna slowly rank up here. That's a uh, Hammer Kong. There you go. <laughs> All right. Does this floodgate them? Neither player can special summon monsters with the same rank. That's really, really funny. That's a really, really, really funny. Um, mm, I don't mind if that gets banished, honestly. Fine. I guess it does stop my Fallen Sanctuary, which maybe it matters, but that's really funny. That's really, really funny. <laughs> and yeah, now they have the detached material. Oh, there they go. Zeus. Predictable. And honestly, I think if I let them Zeus, it honestly helps me. Um, I don't know. We'll see what they do here. I'm not afraid of Zeus at all. We have Solemn Strikes, so... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're gonna go for it. Wow. So... Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, this might make them scoop, so let's uh, Solemn Strike here. Just because it might make them scoop, so... They got Solemn Judgment, I mean... Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough, but that does cost them half their life. Also, they have to... Uh, yeah. Pay half of that, so... Yeah, not bad. I guess that does get rid of my board, but I already, you know, faded out the, yeah. <laughs> One face down, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> Deuce pa ooh, that's pretty good, yeah. That's actually really good. Um, in case things go south here, I do have Hyperion, so that's always a good feeling. Let's try it. Let's try, uh, Venus, yeah. See what they do about this. Probably Imperm, I'm thinking. Uh, Hockey Point down. 
push there. This stick chain ball, Shimmy Shoji. Um, let's see, let me check things here. Like we're all good in chat, and I'll use Venus again. Aki pointo down. Toshite. Mystic Shine Ball. Mijuj. Alright. Aki pointo down. Toshite. Mystic Shine Ball. Alright, Zeus does have a secret effect we have to watch out for. Um, yeah, once per turn, if another card you control is destroyed, okay. attach one card yep, as a materials. Pretty unique uh, secret effect. We'll use Azamoon here. So let's uh these two kind balls. Cards. And we will go into the protector of options. Zamoon. Ah. ah nice. We've got the fodder there, so with Moon we will of course mill uh, Neptune. As per you. So with Moon. Uh yeah, we will not ash ourselves. Uh add the card to my hand. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. So yeah, sure. We'll take uh, we'll take Earth. So that's good. I guess uh, Fallen Sanctuary does count in the grave. As yeah, I guess so. Uh, but anyway, we'll have Zeus use its secret effect here, and I'll tribute a ball. Let's go bowling chat. First person I see that knows all of Zeus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It uh, it is a pretty nice secret effect. They get to use it right now. Um, but the the lucky part is that it only has one material. So we really don't have to worry about, uh, you know. Uh, by the way, hello. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Is Zeus your favorite card? <laughs> yeah, Zeus. <laughs> it's funny. It, the username is Zeus underscore first. It's actually really funny. Um, now, I will go ahead and pop Zeus here um, after I go into Parsha. So, yeah, let me do that real quick. So, I will go for Celestial Night Lord Parsha, using this as two materials. And let's just move over to the right zone for no apparent reason. Ah, nice, yeah. It's a, it's a really good card. All right, and we got uh, Parsha there. Um, so now we can um, combo and stuff chat. Uh, we've got five fairies in the grave. But we can modulate that, so let's um, activate Parsha and let's pitch Jinzo Ningen, Psycho Shocker, to add. I'm thinking we just add uh, Neptune. Oh, no, 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 we can act, add Sanctum, a little damage boost. Alright. And then we play Sanctum. And then we. Master Hyperion, and I'll banish the moon. That's right, get that moon out of here. <laughs> All right, and now Master Hyperion's on board, and let's go bowling, chat. All right, let's see, is it gonna be a gutter ball? Uh, maybe a strike? Oh, it's a strike! It's a strike! Oh man, we're going for the turkey. All right, and just to show them how you know hand bone they are, we reset the counter traps. So. You know, if I had Venus still on board, we would obviously get an extra summon. <laughs> All right, there we go. There it is. There's the scoop. All right. <laughs> All right. Just had to, you know, had, had, had to, you know, just do that a little there. <laughs> uh, overall, it looks like they had brick, though, because they were running. Um, I'm assuming this is full power tri brigade, but uh, let's check the deck. Just for thanks, thanks Zeus. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm assuming this is just full tri brigade. Yeah, yeah, we got really lucky. Um, their first summon was her as, and um, yeah, they never drew that. That's uh, <laughs> we got lucky there. Um, yeah, and also what's funny is they tried to use zodiac combos, <laughs> but here's the funny thing about zoo, zoo combos, guys. I had this card out turn one. This is a really funny floodgate. And you'd be surprised how often it comes up. So the reason they couldn't do the usual zoo combos in the Dryden, this is why. <laughs> it's so funny that I flipped this card turn one. Yeah, and the band played on, so neither player can special summon monsters with the same level. Okay. But here's the problem. Neither player can special summon with monster with the same rank. And all the majority of Zodiacs are all rank four. 
you know, are all the same rank. So, yeah, because we could even check his, uh, you know, deck here just so I can illustrate this point. That's a really good floodgate because he yeah, look, rank four, rank four, rank four, rank four, rank four. So you can't do the usual zoo combo, um, but you see he did the workaround. But because we had and the band played on, his Zeus was only two materials. So that's how we won. We we made his usual Zeus, I imagine, would be how many materials? One, two, three, four, five, maybe six on perfect combo or seven. So that's the usual uh, size of Zeus. Um because you yeah if you do the zodiac combos you know without interruption which yeah we didn't have any of that duel they could get yeah like a six or seven material zeus and that would have been a problem because we didn't draw a kaiju that duel um so yeah just really lucky that uh <laughs> you know because i debated taking this card out for our um two pack a day challenge uh since i debated taking this out for like uh jinzo or something but i'm really glad i left it in because uh that this card single-handedly won us that game uh but yeah pretty cool so <laughs> all right and i uh, wish wish us luck chat on the next duel all right and that's win number uh four so we only need one more and then our challenge is done for today so win number four <laughs> and for uh for you wondering zeus um today we actually pulled um i'll just show you here uh, we pulled from this Um, yeah, some uh, some uh, recent chatters have. I'm not making you know too too many unique decks. I'm relying on the same engine, the uh, agent engine, too much. So I've had this booster box just kind of sitting, you know, back around there in the closet for about about like a year or so. And yeah, I just we opened it today, and here's the, what we're gonna do over the next uh, few weeks. We're gonna do like a two pack a day opening. And basically, whatever we open out of these, um, yeah, we replace, we slowly, like, weed out my usual engine of the agent deck, and we start playing new cards, you know, so, yeah, kind of an interesting challenge. Um, I've, I've hereby dubbed it the uh, weed out challenge, and at the basically, at some point, we'll have 60, because I play 60 cards to counter grass, uh, but yeah, at some point, we'll basically have a unique deck that, that's not agents, you know. And so today, I think we only had to craft like three cards because I actually had like a lot of the Jinzo cards. So, but that's what we're doing today. We've started a new challenge. It's called the Weed Out Challenge. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. And like so far, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good days. So, All right. And like the best part is that we got to open some new, uh, new packs. You know, so <laughs> and the smell of Yu-Gi-Oh new Yu-Gi-Oh cards is always good. So, that was the challenge for today. There you go. Oh man, magical mallet! Wow. But yeah, pretty pretty new challenge. This is like day one of the challenge. So, yep. There you go. So, all right. And we, uh, of course, along with the challenges, you know, you need a duel in order to demonstrate you're doing the challenge. And I figure, yeah, you know, uh, five wins a day. That's you know, that's enough to, um. You know challenge ourselves because so, eventually this deck will be something completely different you know so uh summoner mug maybe i should have saw him that but uh and we'll see i guess i can saw him this yeah wait for them to discard then you saw him yeah that's <laughs> that's how it's done wait for them to pay the cost well rip sorry hmm i wonder what deck they're running summoner mug doesn't tell me anything also, triple attack doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> In phase, wow. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, get into it. Hope we draw Venus. So that's somewhat helpful. All right. So I can flip Shine Ball. Ooh, right. I can special summon this, but I have no follow up. I can special summon this. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's actually funny. I actually kind of do have a follow up. Huh. I've never tried this combo before, chat. I've never tried this combo. Hmm. But you know? Hmm. 
we could I'm just thinking there's some stuff we could get. We could downbeat for Hmm. Could downbeat for that. Hmm. Hmm. Right, links don't have levels. No, I think this is the play. Yeah, we Neptune. We <laughs> Um Oh, I could have Link Spidered as well. But I have no normals in hand. Now well, this is the play chat. So we link these two away. And we go for Moon. Mm -hmm. That's a little more solid. Uh, let's meal a card we don't want to draw. Uh, usually I would mill Neptune, but obviously that's already there. I guess let's mill... Hmm. Let's mill um, Sanctuary in the Sky. Yeah, that may actually help us here before it's all said and done. And we've got some follow-up for next turn, chat. Because next turn we can use this. If nothing else, I will pay the five for us to have two monsters on board. Uh, also, this is a tuner. See, that's what I was thinking about. Like, yeah, this is a tuner. We could go into Pluto, and but we're setting up for Pluto. Because, because for the quick effect Book of Moon, uh, Pluto needs... Um, yeah, Pluto needs... Um, right, it needs Sanctuary of the Sky, right? For the quick effect? It does, yeah. So, yeah, we can set that up for next turn. Ah! <laughs> Alright, guys, this is an OTK. So, this is an Exodia OTK. So, here you go. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so enjoy guys. This is uh, some treasure panda combos. And uh, yeah, I've got nothing that can stop them. So here you go. Here's some nice little Exodia combos. So enjoy. I gotta hand it to you. That was a good move. You got the you got your arm on the line. <laughs> no, I'm sure they'll draw enough cards to summon Exodia this turn. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, it's always a good duel when you see Exodia being summoned, honestly. <laughs> and like these decks, I don't mind them too much because they brick more often than not, so. The fact that he drew two summoner mugs is kind of lucky, let's be honest. All right, I've got to hand it to you. That's a good move. Eh, eh. Oh man, I'd give a lot, uh, an arm and a leg to have the head of Exodia. If you have a clear mind in my head. Eh, eh. You can't help but make like body part puns <laughs> whenever you just see an arm just kind of All right. <laughs> yeah, sure. Dark Ruler no more, bro. That's necessary. I guess it's nice that we won't be taking damage, you know, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> he literally used that spell for, um, and uh, that's funny. All right. I got to hand it to you. That's a new combo. <laughs> oh, man. What I do to have Nibiru in my, uh, oh, in my hand right now. <laughs> Double summon, nice, nice. Get that library on board. Get that royal magical library. What's funny is this combo doesn't even need library. All you do is loop panda, and you like use flam veil garden stuff. All you do is you synchro climb. Synchro climbing is the entire engine. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I guess so. Yep. Yeah. I guess so to reset some uh, panda targets, aka the exodia pieces. All right, this is good. This is a good combo. Oh, resetting the synchros. Oh, so you can climb again. Right, because they have a level one. And so now they can start to climb again. And uh, I don't think formula synchrons once per turn either. Wow, so that's really good. Oh. All right, Skull Dread. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. 
I guess a DD Crow would have saved us there. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> mm hmm. Isas Ose is now banished. Lambeau. Upstart. So they can go back into um, the level 5 if they want. But they may not even need to at this point. They're already pretty deep, you know, into the combo. So two upstarts. It should be over pretty soon, chat. But uh, yeah, I'd give an arm and a leg for a new beer right now. Speaking of legs, you know, I like chicken legs. Um, I just find them very tasty. And, like the skin when it's nice and crunchy, like, ah, oh, man, Popeyes. Ooh, this. How long has it been since I've been to Popeyes? Oh man, so good, so good. Desynchro, nice. Gain that to formula to draw the card. But uh, yeah, man, I give an arm and a leg to have a Popeyes right close to my house. That would be nice. Uh, they should tinker or climb again. Avarice, nice, nice. This is gonna be a nice little a uh, highlight on my stream. A nice little. Treasure Panda Exodia combo. Mm hmm. Very nice. But yeah, the fact that this card isn't once per turn is quite hilarious, so. Yep. Treasure Panda too strong. Here comes the Hyper Librarian. Mm hmm. And then they will get some more draws. Here comes the other Flamveil Guard. Mm hmm. Then you go back into Formula. Back to Formula. Back to formula, to back to formula. You know, Plankton. <laughs> TT to draw a card, heck yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if they can do it before they time out, chat. Uh, Desynchro to reset formula. Back to formula. <laughs> All right, get your memes ready, chat. Oh man, I'd give an arm and a leg to have um, DD Crow. That probably would have saved us on that Reborn, though. We had Crow. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Crow, this guy is going to make us eat Crow when he summons Exodia. Explodia! It's not possible. No one's ever been able to summon him. Ah, you know what? I don't believe in this hocus pocus nonsense. Did you just summon a bunch of monsters at one time? Yeah, so? That's against the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules, I have money, Yugi. And now... I'll hand it to you. You're a great duelist, Yugi. But that Joey Wheeler, he's a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. Now, get him out of my sight. Marshall, marcher. <laughs> hey, this deck's awesome, bro. <laughs> yep, enjoy, guys. This is a stream highlight. Uh, let, let, let's put our wind conditioner in chat. Here, here's our wind condition, guys. Wind condition. Timer. <laughs> That's literally the only way we win here. <laughs> oh, or they could miss combo. Yeah, that, that could happen, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, but DD Crow on any of these Exodia pieces, man... That would have saved us the game right there. Knowledge, nice, nice. A nice little tech. So the only thing they need to do now is reset this, um, these two pieces in the grave. These three, I'm sorry, four. Um, I don't know how they'll get them back into the deck or into the hand eventually, but you know, that works. Avarice works. I think this is the third Avarice, I think. So that gets them all back in the deck. If they want them in the deck, uh, they do not. Instead, they'll take those cards back. Yeah, they have to go back to formula. Uh, yeah, that there it is, Dark Factory. That'll work. That'll work. Mhm. Mm All right, guys. Uh, uh, you're a good duelist, but can you stop the unstoppable Exodia? Exodia! It's not possible. No one's ever been able to summon him. Ha! Get ready. Exodia! Oblitari! 
Dun 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 Oh man, the OST for Miracle is so awesome, bro. In the uh, subversion. <laughs> Exodia. Obliterate. Mine crush. Alright, guys, that was the, uh, yeah. Exodia FTK. So, pretty cool deck. Pretty cool deck. Let me show you guys. That's pretty awesome. Nicely done by our opponent. Uh, the key there is button clicking fast. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the deck. You guys are interested in the Treasure Panda Exodia? Yeah. Pretty standard build. Three Avarice. Into the Void. Royal. Pretty cool. Extra deck. Two Formula. The Desynchro helps you, you know, reset, redraw. And the key here is, yeah, this. So if this gets impermed, you know, I don't know what they're going to do, but that's, uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> also some nice uh, tech picks here. Sea Dragon. Ah, so in case our stuff does get banished... They can special summon it. That's that's a good tech pick. That's a good tech pick. Um, I don't see how they get two level threes, but you know maybe uh, uh, Exodia plus. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they get two level threes, but uh, very interesting. Digusto Emerald's pretty good, and yeah, Asa is an interesting choice. Surprised they don't go with Dark. <laughs> Because sometimes you do, you might need to reborn a piece and then just kind of loop or synchro. So, interesting they go with awesome and not dark. I don't know. There's probably a reason for that. So, anyway, there's the deck. Pretty good. All right. Well, that, that was exciting. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the unstoppable Exodia. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> And I got in all the jokes. Oh man, I made that one uh, arm and a leg joke. And I started talking about the you know, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I do like chicken legs, though. I just want to throw that out there. Chicken legs are very tasty. <laughs> this hand sucks. Luckily, we get to draw an extra card. So. Um, wow, Gravekeeper. Ooh, let's draw Jinzo Jector. Please, please, please. Heart of the cards. Guide me. Jinzo Jector. <laughs> I was so close, chat. I was so close. I was so close to greatness, man. All right, all right. We'll set Honest. And we'll set this in pass. All right, Master Duel. I see you. All right, all right. Man, if they play a royal tribute, I am gonna. Oh man, I go from getting Exodia to getting royal tributed. Oh, say it ain't so. Royal tribute would win them the game here, though. Yeah, that's also a pretty good card, I hear. Um, luckily they don't have Necro Valley. Wait, the field's treated as Necro. Oh. Well, luckily they couldn't fuse there. Um, this actually matters. Okay. If they get rid of Honest, they're honestly, honestly in a good position. Uh, in phase. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. It's time. Neptune. Nice. All right, guys. Now. Now. Yeah, I tribute my Honest. Summon. Uh, Jindal Ning and Cycle Shock. In attack mode. Yeah. With Jinzo out, all your trap cards are useless. Nah. All right, does this have a graveyard effect? Um, I guess we should get rid of Priestess. Um, the fusing worries me though. Let's get rid of Spiritualist. Gold Cyber Energy Shock. <laughs> all right, end my turn. <laughs> oh man, I'm gl I'm glad we summoned Jinzo at least once so I could do the. Uh, the cyber energy shock, you know, in the Brooklyn. That's good. That's good. That, that that'll be good for a stream highlight. That's a pretty good spell card. 
All right. Let's hope they draw traps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what is this? Mmm, that's pretty good. Headsman, okay. But they still don't have Necro Valley. Wow, how do they not have... Oh, they're playing a 60 card. Okay. Okay, I was getting ready to say, how do they not have Necro Valley? It's so weird. The field is treated as Necro Valley, but they actually need the field spill over here for this card to... Uh, ooh, for this uh, field card to do something. Um, yeah. So what's interesting here is holding legs. Hmm. Wow, would bounce everything. Now let's do it. Yeah. I summon holding legs in attack mode. When this card summon, all the other spells and traps go to your hand. Meaning I don't have to worry. Now holding legs. Attack this card. Or do I want to? Does it have a grave effect? Nope. Go, holding legs. <laughs> and when used with holding arms, it can summon the sacred stone of Ujot. Go, Jinzo, Saba Energy Shack. Eh. Alright, I guess I'll set strike. There is a chance like Jinzo could be kaiju or something, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I have to consider all possibilities. So, this is probably asking me for Mascarino. Indeed it is. And I will end the turn. Alright, so... Nice turn there. The only reason I played Holding Legs, so this is literally so we could clear two monsters. But this is an interesting strat. We're up against a stun strategy, and we've got Jinzo, but, you know, it's only a matter of time before. Yeah, this is Gravekeeper Stelle, so that's pretty good. Little recursion for him. So they'll take back the Gravekeeper monsters we've seen thus far. Did they draw Necro Valley? This is the question. Set, 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 set. I guess not, because <laughs> we would have seen <laughs> seen them fuse, right? Um, also, poly would be a problem. Polymerization, yeah, that could potentially be a big time problem for us. So, uh, <laughs> there's heretic, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's um, all right, all right. I, I've seen this strategy before. I guess here I'll take out um, this card actually, priestess, as it is treating the field as necro valley, which. Yeah, it matters for some cards, not for all, you know, so. Yeah, I draw. Venus, okay. Okay, we'll take that. Um, we can actually special summon Venus thanks to this. Uh, the issue is I don't need to special summon Venus. What is this asking? Ah, can't be activated. Maybe. Maybe that effect will come up. Uh, let's just, um... Let's just actually keep everything in hand. The fact that I can special summon uh, creation is good. Uh, but yeah, we'll kind of keep our cards close to our... Yeah, that Royal Tribute is scary, though. Royal Tribute, man. Like, basically, if you if the field is treated as Necro Valley, both players have to discard all monsters from their hand. Royal Tribute you would just hose me royally. Eh? Eh? Good. Okay, so this will revive the Priestess, as we've seen before. Oh no, that's the other card. So do they have the valley? I'm guessing not. Why do they keep summoning in this in attack mode? I don't know. Oh, oh, right. I forgot uh, exceed summoning is a thing. That might get him out of it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, right. The priestess is level three. Ooh, I didn't even think about exceed summoning chat. So now all of their stun traps are online. That's bad. But on the bright side, I do have the one of strike. Uh, you know, uh, let's read this card. I got one card you can control. Ah. But this is used to protect a Necro Valley. Yeah, so pretty good. Um, yeah. So, oof. wow. What an interesting duel this is. Okay. Well, I'll play the SJ. Hmm. Even if I Neptune, we would only have three fairies in grave when it's all said and done. Mm. Let's just uh, pass, actually. As, as much as that hurts to do, that is the move here. And I think they've got it. Yeah. Man, I, I should have went after Heretic. But it's just, you know, the fact... I, I am scared of Royal Tribute even now, so... 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, immediately after result, yeah. Yeah, this is going to get out of hand here pretty quickly. So my only hope is that they BM too much. And um, yeah, you know, that's what I can hope for. Um, that will get them Valley, which... Hmm. Nah, it's, it, it's fine. That'll get them Necro Valley. But uh, you guys will see, like, a lot of their face downs that they've been waiting on need Necro Valley. So, there's that. Um, it's been real. And then you've got this. Yeah, it's. The strategy's coming together, man. Really good. Um, I imagine they have, like, a solemn and hidden temple as well down here. But, uh,. Yeah, not good. Um, there's that. Um, so, yeah. Can target a level four. Special summon it. Um, what did they target? Did they target Heretic? I think so. That's not too big of a problem, actually. Um, the damage won't... Um, yeah, you would think I want to strike that, but no. No, so... Yeah, the only thing I was going to strike is if they went to some kind of Link Summon. And then, uh, yeah, I definitely would have stru struck that. Uh, I think we're out of strike range. No, we're not. Wow. Well, we can afford one strike and then pay half for Solemn. That's funny. All right. Well, okay. This is our last turn, guys. Wish me luck. Draw. Oof. That's really bad. Well, I guess let's do as much BMing as we can. We've held back as long as we can, so let's get rid of the Master Key. There you go. Jump scare him a little bit. And then let's, uh, sure, let's use these effects because I'm not going to otherwise. That's strange. The one duel I don't brick on Mystic Shine Ball. Um, yeah, that's, that's odd. What does Ghost Spell do? Hmm... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can just set the card I was going to special summon, by the way. Which is uh, Venus. So. I mean, I could have called by that, but nah. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Alright. And we just, uh, yeah, Venus pass. And called by. Man. Close, close, close. Yeah, I just needed one more fairy in the grave. I think we would have been good there, because we, yeah, what's what's weird is we bricked on two Christian, so, it almost never happens, but, hey, it is what it is, man. That almost never happens, but, uh, no one said they're up for viewer duels, so, um, no, that's fine. Guess it's now or never, chat. So, that'll bring forth, I'm a not, uh, I guess just to control the board. I guess we can... No, 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 that's fine. Let's see if they BM. Because really, if they BM, we can punish them. Kind of. But uh, there's Heretic, or Commandant. And no BMing. Smart move on their part. Just go in and attack. Alright. I guess I can... Hold by something. No? Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, really, they had... The, the, you know, the traditional stun strategy... I'm sure some of that back row was like hidden temples, but uh, that was pretty in, and that was probably the most interesting deck we've ever run into on stream. Like ever since I started streaming. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, you guys want to copy the Gravekeeper's stun strategy? Yeah, free charm of Shabbat. So you guys may not know what this is. This basically says Wabaku, but for Gravekeepers. But you still take the damage, in the immortal words of um, Arc V. Uh, the one of Mexi, hell yeah. Priestess, yeah. Pretty good deck. Um, got some spooky uh, Ryo. Yeah, I knew this was in here somewhere. Descendant, good thing they never drew that. Um, Order, good thing they never drew that. Uh, but yeah, pretty good um, stun strategy. And really, you just do the traditional uh, Gravekeeper strategy. You just kind of stun and attack the graveyard and control the board. Like, yeah, I guarantee you one of those face downs was right. Probably, they probably had one Solemn and one Imperial Tomb, which is an in-archetype uh, Omni. And probably one was Mirror Force, you know, 
they just kind of held on to it or whatever. Uh, never saw skill drain, so that's honestly pretty good. Uh, but yeah, the rest of this is just consistency and um, recursion. Heart of Demise, never saw that. No, honestly, <laughs> the two, the two of Gravekeeper Servant. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And yeah, this is the main fusion, which I knew. So, not bad, not bad. Pretty interesting deck, really. I like it. They got the Zeus. They got the yeah seven sins combo, pain gainer, mm. the Guska. They got some stuff in here. They got some stuff in order to rank up and whatnot. So also so just some generally good level four targets, but also you know unafraid to use extravagance. So pretty interesting. So yep. All right, <laughs> let's duel. That was a that was like. I, I should copy that deck, that Gravekeeper deck. Man, what a great one. Uh, speaking of Gravekeepers, I think there's a chance in this pack right here. I think there's a really high chance you can pull Gravekeeper. So maybe that'll be a part of our strategy. You know, it's weird. I haven't looked at the core list for Rage of Raw in a while. The one thing I do know is that there's like Egyptian God support. Um... But yeah, there is some also Esperoba support, uh, clearly, you know. Uh, this is Sword Soul, so we're going to lose against this deck, but I'll try to get some funny highlights. Um, but yeah, there is some uh, Esperoba support, so like Jinzo support or Generic Machine. You have the Protoss as well, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so um, as I lose to this deck, let me just say, I guess there is a chance that we... Um, yeah, and there's also the Mech Lord. I wouldn't expect in the Mech Lord strategy. But what's funny is I actually have Skeel in this deck. It'd be pretty good in this matchup, as well as uh, some of the other Mech Lord cards uh, in this particular matchup. So I definitely wasn't expecting the Mech Lord stuff, but that should make things interesting, actually. Um,. Yeah, yeah, but uh, ultimately, out of Rage of Raw here, um, ultimately, I'm hoping we pull, eventually, we pull, like, Mirror Force, Monster Reborn, uh, you know, of course, Fear Mode, that'd be nice, and, um, you know, the Ghost Rare, uh, Winged Dragon of Raw, eventually, but yeah, we're just doing two packs a day, so uh, we'll roll with it for now, so that's a pretty good spell card, all right, let's see if we can bait them here. See, we've got Monster Reborn too. Let's see if we can bait him. Let's see if we can bait him here. Um, got the Protoss. They got the Moye, honestly, which. Yeah, we might bait him with Moye. So, let's. Uh, she's uh, so safe. On to the Moye. Alright. Response? Axie, huh? Okay. He didn't barone it, so that's uh, all I needed to see. All right. We'll take your Moye. All right. There you go. <laughs> all right. And then... Um, right. And then for the funny highlights, we will tribute for Jinzo Ningen, Psycho Shocker. There we go. All right, let's show them the power of Jinzo. Uh -huh. Response? Yeah, good luck negating that. All right, then we'll play Sanctum. All right. And then... Response? We're trying, Chad. He's thinking... Oh, there. she's thinking about it. He's thinking about negating that one. He's thinking... Or they're reading... Oh, nice, nice, okay, okay, debated successfully, all right, all right, and now I activate the magic card, Santa Bolt, it's so funny because Joey actually has this card, because Merrick uh, threw it in his deck, <laughs> go, Santa Bolt, this will destroy all of your monsters, okay, <laughs> negate my Jinzo, bro, what's that really gonna do? Oh man, Jinzo can't negate traps now. I guess they're imperms online. <laughs> All right, and then I'll set this card. <laughs> All right, Jinzo Ningen, Psycho Shaka. Yep. 
neighborhood energy shock. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, so funny that they <clears throat> that they even used the negate on Jinzo. But the fact that we got Jinzo to attack directly against Sword Soul, honestly kind of an achievement, so Aw guy's gonna block with Drew Oh, that's so sad. Sorry, Jinzo. Yeah, that's uh yeah, you got blocked. I, I'm sorry, bro. Man, if only we had pulled limiter removal. Is that in that set? Might be. Might be. Anyway, they blocked. Man, that's... Hmm. You know, and for those of you wondering, that this was a good example. So, at some point in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history, Jinzo did fall out of favor. It took quite a while, but like one of the main drawbacks as we got into like, you know, 2010, 2014, 2012, um, is that the quick effect, the quick summons were just slightly above Jinzo. You know, if Jinzo had, let's say it had 2550 attack, I think it would have held on a little longer than it did, you know, as far as a mainstay. Yeah, the fact that it has 24, it has Monarch stats, effectively, it does eventually get power creeped. And we're talking about the life and span of Jinzo. So, like, you know, Jinzo had its time. You know, a lot of a lot of people in the day, back back in the day, you know, they ran Mirror Force, Magic Cylinder, they ran Unerotted Crush Card, you know, they ran Unerotted Ring of Destruction. Like, Jinzo was you were like almost required to play Jinzo to even have a chance to survive. Um, and the game was just a lot slower paced. Um, it was a, it was a nice time. It was a glorious, you know, and it was in only secret rare. Oh man. Um, yeah, it was just great. It was great. Um, but you know, as we got like more fusion stuff and GX and, um, now, and, and like, Feral Server also had limiter removal, which was pretty key, you know, due to the attack problem of Jinzo. Um, you know, and then sometimes the destruction effect was played very skillfully, because sometimes you wanted to turn on your own traps and then turn off your opponents during your turn. Yeah, so limiter removal was played very skillfully uh, with Jinzo back in the day. Um... But yeah, you know, you, time has a way of showing weakness. And eventually, we would get more and more cards, you know, kind of like this card, Jura Swarm, that could just vomit themselves out. And they would have just a little above Jinzo. They would have the 2500, you know, they would have the 2450. You know, we're talking about Steel Swarms now. And like, they would just be slightly bigger than Jinzo. You know, and then if you were having a problem with it, you could just run it over in battle or, you know. Um, I guess, you know, speaking of uh, problems where Jinzo fell short, this card right here, Valor, at some point during Synchro format, people realized that their, um, their traps that were being locked, they could basically save Valor for any time Jinzo was a problem. Uh, and yeah, you know, there are different strategies, you know. Some strategies like to run traps. Some Synchro strategies like to run stun, you know. And those players quickly realized once Honest came out in around 2009-ish eh, that, you know, basically they would hold their Valor just in case the opponent was still maining Jinzo. I mean, there's some good traps around in, um, yeah, in um, Synchro format, like the Starlight Road. I mean, that's a hell of a trap card. There's like, um, there's like Icarus Attack, you know, during Blackwing format. Yeah, Jinzo was played against Icarus Attack because, you know, if you just tribute summon Jinzo, they couldn't chain Icarus Attack because that's how rulings work. So, but the, what, but the way Black Wings players would get around Jinzo <clears throat> is, yeah, they would, uh, you know, eventually um, Baylor did come out and they would, you know, do that. Or more commonly, kind of what I was just talking about, the attack power problem with Jinzo, they would simply... Um, you know, damage step, and then, yeah, make you think about, oh, do they really have 
the uh, you know the level three that boosts by fourteen. Do they have the Kalu or not? You know, so that's kind of yeah. Hand traps like Kalu and Honest, uh, not Honest. Yeah, even Honest. Yeah, I miss slipped there, but Honest showed the weakness of Jinzo too, because you had to be careful when attacking with Jinzo. Attacking wasn't so safe anymore. If you attacked into light decks or black wings, you're kind of risking your own Jinzo. So, yeah, I would say Jinzo s s took a big hit there. In not the early Synchro era, but like the the black wing format. Black wing format is where Jinzo really started to show its weakness. Um, and then, you know, we slowly started to get just more hand traps, you know, like like uh like Valor, like you know like um you know honest um because jinzo just became so easy to out and yeah you know again people still main jinzo you know all the way up at even in exceed format people were maining jinzo but the fact is is that these cards exist you know Valor, uh honest um you know and uh Kalut. And more powerful cards were just on the horizon, you know, only months later. So that's really when Jinzo started to, like, lose its luster. Also around the Synchro format era, you had cards like Black Whirlwind. So basically, the best cards of the format were spells. Well, they started to become spells. Um, don't get me wrong, like, Mirror Force and Torrential and stuff was still legal like that. But players slowly started to drift from those cards to like whirlwind and you just you just get so much advantage you know um and then you know um at some point during the exceeds era people even realized like hey i can play a deck with no traps and win and that was really the end for jinzo the late the late exceeds era um because the minute players realized, like, hey, I can win without playing traps, the more and more Jinzo lost its luster. It lost its luster dragon. It lost its value. Not really its value, because, you know, it's a, it started to become a side deck card. Because, you know, there is always that one, you know, rogue player who, you know, Jinzo is his favorite card or whatever, and he, he mains Jinzo, you know, so... Um, you always have to be wary of that, you know, as a duelist. Um, but, you know, the, the true power of Jinzo, I would say, was definitely right around um, Labyrinth of Nightmare format. Because all of your good continuous traps that you wanted to draw, like Call of the Haunted, um, or even like Ring of Destruction, Magic Cylinder, Mirror Force... Those cards became bricks. What was nice about Jinzo was like, the game was so slow and slow paced. You might pot of greed. And this literally happened to me one time at a tournament. The guy had Jinzo. I drew pot of greed and graceful charity. And I'm not kidding. I drew in order, mirror force, ring, a different trap that I can't remember. Then I graceful and I drew three traps. And then I had to discard two. So effectively, Jinzo walled me off of six draws, six to five draws. Oh, yeah, because I also drew for turn. So Jinzo itself walled me off of six cards. And that's the true power of Jinzo. It's not so much the field negation. I mean, that's nice. It makes you feel safe to attack. But no, no, no. The fact that you can convert your opponent's card advantage into straight up dead draws, that's really good. And also, you just have to keep in mind that effect negation these days is just so common that we don't even think about it but back then in the day what was the main effect negation divine wrath yeah have fun chaining that to jinzo not only because jinzo can negate it but let's say jinzo did have an ignition effect could you change divine wrath i guess so but like divine wrath has to be chained to an like an ignition effect jinzo is a continuous effect that's what made Jinzo special it's not that it you know locked down or stopped draws it's the fact that once it's out the effect is always applied 
and it's not an effect you have to initiate. So even the effect negator itself, Divine Wrath, couldn't deal with Jinzo. And then there's the skill drain ruling. We all know the skill drain ruling. Basically, skill drain versus Jinzo. Whoever gets it out first wins. <laughs> you know, because obviously if you tribute summon Jinzo, your opponent can't flip skill drain. But if your opponent has skill drain out first, if they preemptively just like, oh yeah, standby phase, skill drain, then your Jinzo does nothing. You know, so um, pretty interesting thing. Another pretty interesting synergy with Jinzo really early in the day was you call up the Haunted into Jinzo, and then call up Haunted is like lingering. And then you could just giant screenade it back. So pretty funny. Um, and in that instance, Call of the Haunted does not destroy Jinzo. So, pretty interesting because Jinzo's negating Call of the Haunted. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's a lot of history behind Jinzo. And, you know, I'd say it's one of the greatest cards of all time. Like, people don't play it anymore. But you got to realize, man, like, this card was, like, required reading from. When was Favor Subred? 1999 until. I'd say 2013. No, maybe like 2011. Like, you had to have Jinzo, or there were just some games you weren't going to win, or even have a chance, you know. So, yeah, I would say it was required reading. It's It was pretty, you know, pretty good. So, all right, we're up against a purely pro layer. Wow, we have had some back row clearing cards here. Let's do some reading chat. Uh, Yeah, that's cool. Draw a card. Okay, can this uh, negate stuff? Hmm. Not bad. Well, let's uh, kaiju that, I think. Yeah. So we will get rid of this. Maybe we'll make him scoop. I don't know. I'm not going to read the spells and traps yet. We'll just get rid of that. Um, oh, maybe I should have read the spells and traps. So, now we know, chap, we should dust first and kaiju second, because this lets him get a... the... the... Per -er 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 good to know, good to know, so... Yep, kaiju... Uh, dust first, kaiju second. Good to know, good to know. I, did, I didn't feel like reading there. So... <laughs> yeah, never been up against Pearly, but uh, I hear good things, so... Hmm. Interesting. Um that is owned by that is owned by your opponent. Wow, that's interesting. One monster you control that is owned by your opponent. That is odd. Yeah. Uh nice, nice. Wow. I really should have dusted first. That's my bad chat. Um we could have probably made this guy scoop, or girl scoop, but, uh, ooh, I did not read on that one. Um, yeah. So that's my bad. I'm just honking outside. And they will probably do stuff here with this. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's definitely my bad, chat. Uh, let's just scoop here, because I should have dusted first, but now I know. Now I know how purely works. Dust first, kaiju second. Okay. Good to know. Um, when they have the field spell out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. And yeah, here we go. Let's do a little more. And we've been needing one more win for a while now. But you guys kind of see what I mean? Like, that's the hardest part of the challenge. It's not necessarily crafting the cards or making the deck. The fact that we have to get, you know, five wins a day, that's uh, that's going to be the hard part of the challenge. Um, this last win, this last win, Master Duel's trolling us, bro. Like, they're trolling us hard, hard up here in Platinum. So, But, of course, I didn't want to be too low. You know, I didn't want to be, like, low gold because that's a little too easy for this challenge. So I think I'll make sure we're in Platinum at all times, you know, when we do these streams for the challenge, um, because, yeah, <laughs> you know, if we were on low gold, I feel like this challenge would be a little, a little too easy, you know, um, so yeah, yeah, 
But uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked my Jinzo TED Talk. Uh, that was fun. I had a lot to say. Um, I love Jinzo. I'm a Joey Wheeler fan. You know, it's his card. You know, funny, it's actually, this is actually Esperoba's card. But everyone always thinks of it in his voice, you know. Man, Jinzo, Saba in a D shock. You know, uh, speaking of Jinzo and uh, Merit cards, we drew Sphere mode. I guess we'll ice the back row. Uh, yeah, might as well. Okay. Poja Magic, we helped them out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that, that is a five head play by long coin there. That is awesome. You know what? Normally I would scoop in this duel, but I really just want to see where this is going. I'm sure it's going toward ABC combos, but you know what? They earned it, man. Plus six, baby. Let's go. So I will set two and pass. That is awesome. <laughs> they baited me so hard right there. Um, yeah, pro Ojama duelist. I respect, you know what? This is going to be an interesting duel. Uh, let me just shotgun this. Let's get Sanctuary out of the sky out of the deck, actually. And just kind of set that up right here. And yeah, let's see these Ojama combos, chat. Thought it'd be a pretty good one. Highlight right here, so. Pretty good. It's only fair. I had Storm, they have Duster. You know, tit for tat. That's fair. All right. Much respect. Let's just show them that we've bricked. 
Yeah. Nice, nice dueling by Long Coin there. I mean, the bait me with Lightning Storm with two Ultimate. That's like awesome, dude. That's ideally what you want. Yeah, there's the match. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, we're go we're gonna see some cool stuff, chat. We're gonna see some cool. Stuff. <laughs> All right, OjaMatch.com. <laughs> I can't believe I just made that. <laughs> There's a simulation, that's good. attack in here so I'll just show you guys what we got going on the screen here. So they got out Exit Kenna, Y Dragon Head, Z Metal Tape. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Now go. <laughs> XYZ Dragon Cannon. I summon him, Siegfried. And now you're going to pay. Because I'm going to make you study the whole alphabet. You're going to need a source after this one. Get ready. I summon A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. <laughs> In phase, huh? Ooh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunately for them, I've got Mega Ultra Chicken. Alright, let's summon it, guys. Now go. Mega Ultra Chicken. Great beast from the sky. Please hear my cry. Transform thyself. Bye bye. In phase. Nice. <laughs> 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 
There it is, guys. There's the scoop. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, yeah, what an epic way to get our fifth win, guys. <laughs> Got him. Oh, man. Yeah, you see, chat? That's why you don't BM too much. That, uh, wow, we, uh, we earned that one. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for the uh, yeah the <laughs> the uh, two pack a day you know weed out challenge for today. So yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's our fifth win. So and we had plenty of duels in the meantime. Um, Rainbow, what's up? I uh, we just got our fifth win for the uh, two pack a day challenge. The weed out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, that poor Ojama player. They BM'd so hard. They BM'd so hard. <laughs> oh, that was that was freaking awesome, man. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, let's see if we got any uh, missions accomplished. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, we got that daily done. All right. <laughs> yeah, let that be a lesson to you kids, um, you know, and fellow duelists of all ages. Yeah, don't BM too hard. And if you are going to BM, don't leave three exact monsters on board. That's usually a bad idea, you know, even if they're unaffected, you know. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> okay, let's open a few packs here, and we'll call it a good stream. So I think we'll open a, um, uh, let's open a master pack, actually. Hmm. It'd be interesting, yeah. Let's open, like, four master packs? No, like, three. Three master packs. All good. All right. What did we get here? All right, shiny. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. All right, but yeah, thanks to you guys for being here. I think after this, we're going to raid out to someone shortly. Uh, this is an Ogdoo Attic card, which I did not have until now. So that's good. I'll look at that later. Oh, yeah, Sushi Ikura. Nice, nice. Uh, Mermail. You know, I haven't built that yet, but, uh, you know, I like water-based strategies. Um, Vision Hero Witch Raider. And our super is... Eva Swarm Bahamut. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Well, interesting card. This might open a secret pack. Yeah. Yearning Evil Body. Wow. I wonder what all is in this pack. I'm just curious. Featured cards. Okay, that makes sense. That makes... Yeah, okay, okay. If you're going to make a... Yeah, no. Ouroboros? Yeah, okay. This is making... And then Ophion, yeah, that's the big, okay. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, Origins is also, it's all right, it's all right. It's not, you know, perfect, but it's all right, you know. All right, okay, I, I see you, Steel Swarms, I see you. <laughs> uh, all right, but let's open up uh, one more Master Pack. Or maybe two more, I'll decide. The one more Master Pack. Hmm, shiny, okay. All right, let's hope for some good cards here. Uh, oh. yeah, <laughs> uh, alert. Okay. Oh, and ooh, that's a pretty good shiny. Hmm. Good thing I crafted that ultimate Tyranno. Huh. Interesting. You go. I <laughs> care ass. And all uh, right, Pyro Rex. Yeah, the elemental lords are funny to think about. Uh, this is a pretty good pack, honestly, though. Um, I'll be okay opening it up two of this. You know, I've never built dinos, full power, but uh, UTC is pretty good. Oh, did I say UTC? Strike that, reverse it. UCT, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Really good strategy, so. Uh, yeah, let's just open them all up. Love all. Oh, Miracle Fusion. That's actually pretty good, yeah. So, and uh, Impact is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. A lot of people don't play this card, but check this out. Um, yeah. Equal to... Uh, until the end of the next turn, after this card's activated, neither player can normal or special summon. 
this card is incredibly underrated and should be treated with all the appropriate respect. Very good. And, um, you know, dino stun strategies. Because basically all you do is you have your usual two dinos, right? And then, <clears throat> you know, make sure your LP is lower. There are cards that you can modulate to do that. And basically you wait till like your opponent only has like one card on the field or you, you can actually just destroy your own dinos and in your like burn strategy you can have your burn cards just kind of tax your opponent and start to build up and then literally your opponent can't summon like at all <laughs> so uh if you time it right they won't be able to summon for a couple turns you know along with your other you know stun strategies so this card's incredibly good um, and if you time it perfectly, you can punish your opponent, get a lot of scoops, so, of ice cream. So, yep, bring your sprinkles, chat. This card is really good. Yep. <laughs> Basically, what it should read is, like, end your opponent's turn. <laughs> because uh, what are they going to do if they can't summon? <laughs> like, literally, you know, so. I guess if they're a labyrinth, they can set four and pass, but, you know, yeah. Not everybody's labyrinth, so. <laughs> All right, last pack of the day, chat. Shiny. Ooh, shiny. Okay. Do we get here? Ooh, shock troops. That's shocking. And another. Wow, that's <laughs> really lucky. I'm pretty sure this is played at three in dinos. That good. Also, Tyrano Infinity. There are some funny OTKs with this. And uh, Survival Instinct, so there you go. Pretty cool. And I like Jirak's. Never built them. I like them. I, I built them in Legacy of the Duelist, and that was fun. So, but uh, yeah, ILO is pretty good. So, and uh, even this card's not bad. Dark Mam Belle, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, well, uh, that's. I think that's gonna do it for us here. Unless uh, I'll ask this question one more time, and then I'll call it a stream, guys. Um. Anybody want to play fewer uh, duels? Or, um, yeah, uh, I can make a duel room if so. No. But, uh, yeah, um, out of an abundance of caution, let's go ahead and make the room. And then, um, yeah, I'll wait like, like 10. And if nobody wants a viewer duel, we will end the stream right here. So, uh, yeah, there's the room actually. What's this room ID? Uh, there we go. Yeah, one seven seven two. So, overall, pretty good stream. But yeah, we'll give it a nice little wait. I will play my DOR in the meantime. And I guess I can just chat with you guys here. So. so. Everything looks okay. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> oh.
It's going to be Chet, uh, Flame Swordsman, Gemini Elf, Barrel Rock, you know, Enchanted Javelin. I'm thinking the mighty Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, show me that Blue Eyes Labyrinth. <laughs> Looks like you get to enjoy my Labyrinth, you big tweed, in America. Blackbones were working on a strategy here in Britain. That's right. Now, check it out, tweed. My machines are coated in magic armor, making them immune to your dark magician. Enjoy my labyrinth tank tweet. It can move through labyrinth squares in America. I mean, Britain. That's right, we're here in the 1480s. The War of the Roses. And you want, you want proof of the war in Britain? Look at the flag on my head. Him, Britain. Union Jack. <laughs> All right, nice little three in a row, too, to end the stream, so that's pretty cool. I guess I'll look for someone to raid here, like uh, probably Iga, or uh, we'll, we'll find someone there. All right. But yeah, appreciate you guys being with me here today. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys, so. All right. All right, no one up for viewer duels, so I will, uh, yeah. Let's see if Iga's online here. Let's meet the T. I go. Art thou online? My internet is really slow. Oh, I have my phone. See here. Let's just type in. I go. Bye. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, so we're gonna raid. Um. I go here. So yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, you guys be good. Um, she's uh, she's just a really cool streamer. Um, 
and most importantly, she's my mod, so... I'm oh, just kidding. No, but on a serious note, for you VOD watchers, yeah, you, Iga's cool, man, you know, you guys have seen Iga. So let's hit raid, and yeah, just uh, send your support, you know, um, and yeah, you know, if you watch the VOD on YouTube later, yeah, just go over there and drop Iga a follow, honestly, it would help her out quite a bit, and it would make me feel, uh, you know, good that you guys are, you know, listening, you know, it would basically let me know, hey, you're listening to this po point of the VOD, and you know, we support each other, that's what friends do. Alright, so do that, and we will raid out. Bye-bye, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, let's raid on out, and let's do it. Man, man. <laughs> what a stream, man. Yeah, we started the two pack a day challenge. Um, what else? We um, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we punished that um, BM or you know with sphere mode. That was a good way to end stream. Um, yeah, got some nice three in a rows. Um, we also did Pokemon Platinum. Oh, I forgot about Pokemon Platinum. Um, note to self, I'm gonna go water the berries right now. So, all right, see you guys. Thank you.